Hello? Hello? Hi. Mmm. <clears throat> I got some tea. I'm ready to go. And some water. I feel like I'm going to be talking a lot. Whenever I do map reviews or like mentor things with teams, I fucking talk my tongue out, tongue off. It's like, oh, it's my mouth gets so dry and I just like I hate myself at the end of it because I didn't have a glass of water, you know. So I came prepared. I came prepared. Yes, this is, the photo is an old version of process. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing the new version, um, RC2, the one they're playing this season of ESCA. Uh, this is the first segment of. Um, 
of a weekly segment I'm going to do. It's going to be uh, every week I want to go over the uh, the ESC map of the week and just kind of go over like in general like uh, I don't know how the, how the map plays, um, like what rules each class has, and then like maybe some um, some more um, minuscule things, not minuscule, but I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but uh, little things that aren't noticeable for new players that just like are just learning the map their first week. This is I'm, I'm sure like a lot of inv invite players aren't going to get like much out of this at all. Uh, I am players probably know the map pretty well. It's played process a few seasons now, two or three, and it's definitely like um, yeah I don't know. It's a, it's it's hopefully you guys will learn something, no matter what division you're in. So we'll see. Let me pull up the outline I had here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over for each class, um, just kind of in general, uh, like, I don't know, what to do on middles, um, where to be on holds when you're holding two, holding last, uh, how, to, how to do pushes. Is this music annoying? Should I? I'm going to turn that down. Can you guys even hear that? Uh, but what to do on pushes and holds, <clears throat> and then um, just other things like that. For, for medics, we'll go over Ubers and shit like that, uh, the heal, heal order and everything. And then for demo, we will go over the um, like traps and shit like that that you can do. And then I got a rollout video here I can show you guys because I'm garbage at the demo rollout. I can't do it repeatedly for you guys. So um, yeah, there will be a VOD. And then I'll also probably put this on my YouTube before I uh, go to bed tonight. Um, so it's up for the weekend. I don't think it'll be on stream highlights because I think Kurt wants to keep that like short clips. And this is going to run quite a bit, I think. Go over metalworks. I will do that later in the season. I'm gonna be doing that uh, like the week before. I'll do. I'll try to do the map of the week like a week in advance. Like next week's viaduct. I'll or the week after process is viaduct, but there's a Christmas break, so I'll probably have plenty of time to do that. And I will try to do that. Um, yeah, I'll try to do like the viaduct week, the week before viaduct week actually starts. Can I personally mentor you? Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I. I we're gonna do a lot of mentoring type stuff for for uh, the, as a team, um, trying to just get like the community involved and I mean maybe if we, hopefully we make the land and we'll might need some donations when that time rolls around so this is maybe like an early start getting like a jump start on that so uh, but anyways let's start out here I've got a uh, let's see time out let me get my outline where I can read it okay. So first, I wanted to do each class. So let's start with Scout, um, just because that's how I had it in the outline here. Well, let me switch the scene so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Does that look okay? Yeah. Uh, so in general on Scout, uh, let's do middles first. This is like a reflex. I'm not going to be shooting anything, but I wanted to fix my crosshair. This is the way I always go on scout. Um, it's the way your your soldiers are going to be going, your demo, and it's the way you want to take your medic. You want to have your medic running with your roamer to middle, but like you you want to have your 185 right right about here is where I usually end up dropping Justin and Siegel when I'm buffing them on the way to middle. Um, as a as just like a rule of thumb, try not to run like inside of an equalizing soldier or inside of your other scout, it's much, much easier for your medic to tap both of you to 185 on the way to middle. Um, and then about right here is when your medic's going to get off of you. And at that point, you can go whichever way you want. You can you can bank through IT here. I don't like to do it because it, I did not do a rumor roll. I'm, I'm doing a scout section. Here, let me put this up on the... Uh, uh, let me just do a title. Oh my goodness, that's obnoxious. Is that good? Okay. <clears throat> Computer is faster if you're going left, but you can. Okay, the the. Let me just do the rollout. This is my default rollout. I would just go this way, um, 90% of the time, and you can jump on this rock, and you have options. You can spot the demo if he's going left or right early. If you don't see him right there, or if you don't see any stickies flying from this direction at your demo, like on the health pack, then he could be moving up left aggressively. Um, but generally, I like to get on the rock first. And Justin actually on some of our mids will just sit here and wait till I come choke and get a buff. And he's pretty much on roamer duty. If the roamer comes flying in early, or if he tries to like get an IT early, you can like do shit like this to deny him that. Um, but you can sit on rock and you can kind of you get a really good vantage point of when you can commit. If you're trying to go aggressive early, like if your demo goes to the right and pushes up, 
or if you just call a play where you want both scouts to push the right side, then you can just jump from here to the top and be like right on the demo. And like this is a really good position to fight from with height advantage, and you can just fall back right behind the crate, and you're pretty pretty safe to get to your medic. Um, because once your medic enters middle, he's either going to be going left to the health kit to pick up a demo or someone, or like right in this area, or he's going to go to the right. And if your team calls a right strategy, then like playing on spots like that rock right there so he can tap you as he comes in, or playing spots like right here so he can tap you. Like if you, if you can fight the other scouts from right here, then the medic can heal you from the floor. And it makes his his life much, much easier if he can just buff scouts without having to run. Like if, I, if I'm playing right here, then the medic has to run all the way to like right here to buff me, and that puts him into like the danger zone from like a bomb there or a scout there. Um, but if you're right here, then I mean, you need to go coordinate this with your team, talk to your medic about it, talk to your demo about what he wants to do on mids. You, sh you probably want to do left or right. Uh, some teams, I, I think I know Baney's team in some games has pushed just, like straight across the point, and they just tank the demo and they just do aggressive on one side or the other, and um, you can push across the point. But I would probably if you're a new team, just call left or right, and have people to pretty much just playing the crates. And as scout, you probably want to be... <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked already. Uh, I'll try to keep it focused on the scout for now. Uh, but yeah, as scout, I'd probably try to keep height advantage. Uh, there's a lot of really good roofs you can hold. If you're playing on the right side, and you know you're going to be pu trying to push up to their, to their health kit and take it from them, or deny it from them, um, if the mid's going a little more aggressively, then you can get on this roof. And you can kind of wait for a, like a pocket bomber uh, coming in, or a scout like trying to contest the health kit right here. And that's another section you can, or that's another place where your medic can just tap you without having to commit to heal you. Um, another uh, point, real quick: if you're on this crate here, you can't make that jump. I don't think. Um, I was doing it pretty lazily. Maybe you can. But if you're on this fence, if you just like jump up here and like run on the fence, you can. Um, it's a just a little. It's a little Jaeger tip and trick for you, but it's a shot, bud. Would. Um, but yeah, I would. Um, I would on mids. I'd play pretty. You pr probably want to try to keep height advantage uh, and just look for your opening. Uh, deny soldiers if they try to jump your medic. Obviously, uh, try and get a try and get that second buff. You want to be active in the demo fight. Like if you push up and fight the demo here, you're probably going to take a sticky or you're probably going to take a couple scatter guns from like right there or right there. Um, so I'd probably try and like stay here until you get that second buff. I'm gonna have to cap and shit. Does anyone know how to extend the round time, or do I have to cap? God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Was I really talking about this for ten minutes already? Or does it not start with ten minutes? MP map time. MP tournament. What's that do? Oh, can I just exec? Fuck. <laughs> Alright. I did not come prepared for this. There we go. That'll work. Now I don't have to cap. You guys, you guys are my buds. What am I drinking? Green tea with honey. Um... So while we're here, I would never go this way on the rollout because it's just non-optimal. Like, this is the same thing but faster. Um, if you have your buff, then you can bank through IT. Um, but if you come this route, the thing that could fuck you up is if you're right here, the roamers on a lot of middles, they like to fly in and, like, like d take this health kit and then just bank into IT here and just be a nuisance. And then they, like, do, like, spammy shit like this, making sure, no, like, no one's pushing him. And then once you, if you guys start pushing over to the right because he's here, and no one can test him, like, if you can test him in this choke as a scout, he gets a free, 300 damage on you. Um, so a lot of roamers will sit here and just wait until his team's pushing, and then, like, once they bomb the pocket, then he'll jump off that, and then bomb your roamer, or your medic right there. But anyways, if the roamer doesn't play like that, then you just get fucked right here, like, as you're coming out. Um, like, it's gonna be a height advantage fight for him, where he can land on the crate and just put a free rocket on you. It's, it's just not a good fight. The other thing, the demo can just go quick to the right here and like lob a sticky right here just den to deny anything coming out of IT. And some demos will do that. They'll go quick, they'll do like fast jumps and skip the health kit and just pick up the pill and just start putting stickies here and denying the health kit. And if there's, if there's two sticks here, like you're just locked in. You have to like shoot him to get out. It just delays you. I really don't like going that way. Unless your team like commits to a strategy that involves everyone going that direction. Um, or if you know your roamer is gonna like be aggressive on their demo or something like that, I would I would just default to coming choke. Uh, you don't have to come up here, um, but that's I mean that's probably what I would do is I would just jump to here and then you have the option of going here. Or you can just fall all the way over to the right, 
Uh, the other thing you could do is you just jump on this rock and then be right here as well. You don't have to go to the rock. A lot of demos are actually pre-firing this. Um, like, you, you, if you watch Banny, like, sometimes, like, he'll get the timing down to, like, a T. Like, he'll, I'm, I'm sure he goes over this with his team, and, like, he'll have that sticky primed so he can charge it and shoot it at the top of that rock as scouts get to middle and jump on it. Um, it's, it's similar to, like, Badlands where you shoot it at the closet when a scout's coming up. Um... So yeah, there's there's other options to get up top. Uh, you don't have to go on that rock necessarily. You can do shit like this. Uh, this pill is kind of important, I guess. Like if you if you don't want to like drop down to either health pack, and if you want to keep height advantage, you can just grab that pill on the fly and like I don't know. If you're if you're trying to go aggressive but your meds not are not able to buff you, uh, try to grab that on the fly. Um, yeah, it's just a really good vantage point to. Uh, okay, I need to move on. I'm on scout middles for like an hour here. Uh, but yeah, I would try to, as scout, just try to keep height advantage. Um, just push with your demo. Push the direction your demo is. Uh, try to just watch the flank. Like, if your team, if your medic's pushing up to the right here, uh, then just, like, you, you don't have to commit to a 1v1 up here on the left health kit. Just make sure a scout's not flanking him from right here, or a scout's not pushing him from there for free. And if you see a roamer jumping there, like, call it early and, you know, get up here so you can contest him and deny him if you can. What else did I have? Pushes and holds. Okay. Um, if we're pushing... From okay, so now we've won middle and we're gonna push two. Uh, as scout, I would come over here and try to spot this. Uh, check like a gay spot right there, and then also if a soldier's right here, then I wouldn't even be in here. I would just like you kind of just want to get eyes slowly and cautiously, and just make sure you're not overcommitting. Like if you peek or like right here and the soldier comes to right there, then he could hit a really gay rocket on you and probably kill you. So you want to be kind of cautious if you're doing this. Uh, but one thing you kind of want to do is like see how far you can creep in here. Uh, like, check it, check all the corners as you're going and, uh, and shit like that, obviously. Um, I mean, right behind the box here, I've seen people hide there before. Uh, but if, if you see them, like, if they're still down, like, two or three, um, see if you can creep up to, to bats. Like, if there's nothing here, just, like, walk up to all the way to right here, say, you know, tell your team, there's nothing IT I can go, and see, once they come through choke, then see if you can do shit like this and flank that. But the, the sticky trap that's the killer is always right there. Uh, so look out for that. Uh, that would be for pushing too, um, and also just in general, if you're holding middle and you think they're they they have Uber and they're about to push you, um, then keep eyes on this. If they send everything choke in sewers to like clear out your roamer if he's in sewers or something, and then just push your team when they're holding a choke, um, then you want to be like right here. And if they if they swarm everything that direction and nothing's here, then you got a free back cap. Uh, you can go straight straight away this way and just run straight to the cap and then be looking for a scout that'll spawn and like contest you or something like that. Or look, look back at Choke and wait for them to jump at you to, to stop the point. But that's what I would, I would do on middles. Uh, if, you're, if you're planning on getting out after they push in, um, then I would probably just play in an area like this. I wouldn't... Like, you can sit right here and keep eyes on IT, um, but then you also have a pretty good vantage point on Choke. If they cross into sewers to, like, Uber out of sewers to try and lock you in on the right side, or the, yeah, the right side if they push... Um, then right here is a good position. Just anywhere where you're always watching stuff. Like right here, I can watch all three entrances. I'm, I mean, I'm not really going to be in a fight at choke if they start pushing choke. Um, but that's kind of not the idea of holding this spot like this. If you're holding more aggressively, um, then you probably want to. You, you're probably going to have your demo right here, just like spamming it in your pocket, like you're ready to push. Um, if it's a six v six uber fight, um, you kind of you can probably stay in the same general area. And if someone, like, gets a pick on the demo or forces him to debt, then you want to get the flyby buff on your medic, and then you can get into this area for free. Um, I would avoid this as scout in most cases. Um, if you know they're maybe down one or two, if, you're, if you guys are kind of swarming into two really quickly, and you don't see any spam coming this direction, then go for it. But the thing I don't like about going this route is the soldiers can just shoot the wall. They don't have to shoot you. They can shoot the wall and hit you. Um, so I would, I would probably prefer going this direction because there's more room to dodge. Uh, you can sneak in here, and if they're falling out lower, you can flank them that direction. Um, also, a good um, a good route to push from... Oh, also, if you push from IT, you don't have to go up top all the time. If you can sneak in this way without being spotted, a lot of times I've caught medics, like, if they're holding too aggressively on the choke and the scouts are being lazy, like, up top or, like, on point, then I, I've, like, two-shot a medic here from behind before as scout. It's, uh, it's, like, one of those sneaky things you can do. If you get here without being spotted communicate that to your team and if they start pushing you can come this way and you know you can get behind them uh, you can flank this direction if they're holding on spire or something like that uh, but also if you come through choke uh, just pushing this way 
Um, it's pretty it's pretty good. You can check check IT really quick, see if there's anything pushing there. Um, if they're falling out back left, which is what a lot of teams do, um, they'll be sitting here behind Spire, and then if you push in with Uber, they'll be falling out this direction. It's a good it's a good direction to push them from, and they can do shit like this, and then fall into lobby right away. If you take damage, there's a health kit for you, and then you can go like far right and keep dicking with them on last. Uh, you can push in main. If you if you see things falling out, bats that are like like if your roamer jumps in and puts a couple rockets on something, things as they're falling out right there, then if you come this direction and come through lobby right away clean, then you you got a pretty good opportunity to kill medic or something from this direction. <clears throat> uh, what else? Pushing uh, sewers. I sewers is like I peek this. If I don't see a roamer, then I take it. If I see a soldier in here, then I'm just gonna fuck off because. I'll talk about this later for Soldier, but this is like Roamer Heaven, right? Like, there's three doors that you can just fucking shoot uh, if a scout tries to come through. Um, there's like a gay spot or two, or th like nine. Um, there's also like, I don't know, it's just a really good position for the Roamer to hold if he's sitting here on the kit. Like, you can just hold this aggressively, grab the kit, and then come to this door and then jump away or force them on choke or do whatever. I don't like holding sewers a whole lot. Um, you can do gay stuff like this. I don't think they can spot you if they open it. And usually if they open it, they're going to be, like, looking right here. Um, I've, d I've gotten away with this before and gotten, like, a scout pick. Like, a scout just peeks this and I just two-shot him. Um, so you can do shit like that as well. Uh, but for pushing, I would probably go choke or IT most of the time. Uh, if your roamer is in here clearing it with you, then you can probably buddy up with him and just get over here and, like, kind of just pot shot. If you can, like, post up here as scout with your roamer, like, uh, with your roamer, like, if your roamer has sewers under control, then I don't have a problem with uh, going through sewers and like sitting in this area. And then once your combo comes through choke, then you're in a pretty good position to follow up on the damage and get on spire and cap it. Um, let's do pushing last, I guess. Um, let's see. Bottom left is kind of a death trap. Um, if I would only go this direction if you know they're if it if it's a quick push by your team and uh, they're not holding like close here. If you, if you if their demo's down or you don't hear, if you hear them sticking in lobby and you know there's no sticks here, that's a that's a situation where I would come in this direction. And if I see them like holding back right or something, then I would probably do something like come up here and just try and dick with them. You can do stuff like this and just kind of like bait your team and like make wait till they push in and then you're up here in a really good position to drop on them or like flank them if the med's trying to like fall up the ramp or something like that. Um, what else? Pushing in. Uh, this direction is sticky to lot. Right here, right here, and right here is like three uh, kind of priority sticky spots for the demos, I think, most of the time. And also it's like a, I, I like snipers hold here. Usually the combo is like holding, a lot of the times the combo will be holding this area, so it's not easy to get in free if the pocket's just staring at you uh, when you come in. Um, through main... Uh, I, I, I would probably prefer to lobby uh, most of the time. If I if I have a buff, like if, if my combo is pushing in this way with Uber, and if I have a buff, I'm probably going to go this way most of the time because I can like I can see if there's a sniper or anything right there. If there's a if I see a soldier like trying to take take lobby aggressively or a sniper or something, and he misses a shot on me, then I can duck in this direction and try and kill him before he gets back to his team. Um, also, if uh, if my Uber comes in from the left, then I can come in this direction and just look for anything that's like trying to jump in and force them. Um, I can hook up with the medic after the soldier is Ubered in. Um, yeah, just in general. Like, uh, also getting up here is really I don't know. It's kind of important. It's not important, but it's it's useful if you're if you're not being Ubered or if it's an Uber versus Uber fight or if it's like if it's like a heavy sentry in the back left and you can't really commit to a fight. Um, but you think your team is gonna, like, if it's an Uber versus no Uber, then getting up to this direction is kind of, like, useful. It kind of depends on your role as well. If you're the scout that gets Ubered, you probably just want to take, like, a flash or two and go ham and kill the heavy or kill the demo. Um, but if you're the scout that plays more passively, then, like, getting up here is kind of a, it's a, it's a good approach to pushing last. Um, you can either push this direction and, like, pinch them with your team. Uh, you can just drop down and get cap time here. Um, I don't know if it still works. I think I saw Scorpio in here. Scorpio, does this still work where you can stand next to the rail and cap? Does anybody know if that works? Anyways, you can just do this. Um, this used to work in older versions where you could just stand here and you would get cap time. Um, but yeah, uh, try and work cap time if your team's... If they're, if they're team if you Uber in and they don't have Uber, they removed it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Scorpio made this, right? I don't want to misquote, I guess. I'm not sure if he did or not. Pretty sure he did.
cap zone is inside the hazard tape. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if your team pushes them into spawn or pushes them all up top, then I would try to get cap time. Um, if it's an Uber versus Uber exchange, then try to like dick around behind them here. That way, if the Uber goes south, they have to send like a soldier or a scout or something or two up here to, to deal with you. And if they don't see you, sometimes you can sneak in. Like this wall right here and those barrels, they can kind of, sh they can shield you pretty well, especially if your team Uber's in that direction. They may not be looking this way. They probably should, someone should be. Um, but if, if they're down a few and they just Uber to stop the, or, or if they Uber to do the Uber exchange on last, then you can kind of sneak in this way. And if you get in here behind them for free, then I wouldn't commit to a fight unless you know your team's gonna like win the Uber engagement. If it looks like they're losing the fight for some reason, um, then you can just sit here and wait for a back cap. Uh, a lot of times they don't check it if they don't see you come in. Um, but if they see you go up there, then they have to send someone. And that's still good, because if the push fucks up, then it's it's one less person that's going to be retaking Spire, and you're just delaying them. And if it's a soldier, and you're sitting up there, like there's a window there, and you can see if something's about to jump you or contest you, and you can hear him. So if I hear a soldier jump up to contest me, he's going to get me shot, like right as, right as he lands right here. Um, so that's what I would do as scout pushing last. Uh, for off-classing, um, heavy is pretty good if you just, like, I don't know, I, it takes a while to walk a heavy here from middle. Uh, spy is pretty good. You can cloak in and get behind them up top. Um, sniper's pretty decent, actually, on this map. Um, this is a decent line. Uh, that's a decent line, too. Uh, far right is the best. If your team zones you zones for you pretty well in lobby, then you can, like, walk in here for free and get, like, three shots on the medic. They have to kind of, like either play in spawn or somewhere like shielding themselves really well from a sniper um, which gives your team like an easier entrance into the, into the last or they have to like come up here to contest you or spam you out um, so if you have a scout or a roamer with you or your whole team's like sitting here with uber um, then you can kind of just post up here and take pot shots so sniper's pretty good on the last point as well um, what else I think most of the times I pushed in a scout on last, I would come far right, and that was like my options, you know, I could go to the point, I could go with the uber, I could go like up behind them, and try to make a play after the after the fight. Um, yeah, you have more options, you have several options. Um, let's do pushing middle, I, pu I did pushing two and pushing last, I didn't do pushing middle. Um, again, I don't like going IT. For the same reason, on, on mids, um, I don't like going here because the demo or roamer can lock you out. But on pushes, when it's just like they're it's 6v6 or and they don't have Uber and your team wants to push middle or something. <coughs> excuse me, tea is delicious. Um, if they don't have Uber and you're push, your team's pushing into middle, then I like I don't like coming this direction because you can still get locked out here with the spam. And uh, I don't know, you can maybe play it more passively, just make sure nothing's coming here to back cap and just contest them. And then once your team's in, maybe try to come through. Uh, but if you have a demo or roamer just staring you in the eyes when you peek this, then you probably, it's not ideal. Um, it's probably better to just try to go with your team through choke. Um, if you get a 185 and there's not many stickies here, or if the stickies are all right there, um, then I would probably like come wide here and just like try to make room for the rest of your team and like, I don't know, just get in and like try to get up top somewhere. You can do the rock jump as well. <coughs> um, also sewers, uh, so it's kind of important. Uh, one of the things about process in general, this goes for all classes, but like there are three routes to middle, between middle and two, and you kind of have to have eyes on them. Like, you have to look this way before you push. Like, if you're, if you're going to go choke, then at least look this direction. Like, don't just beeline this and get, oh, I need a buff, medic, buff B. Um, like, look this direction and make sure nothing's, like, beelining the back cap or the flank as you go in. Um, you can go through choke with your team. Also, like, if, you, if the medic taps you, then maybe you try to contest sewers. See if there's a, um, see if there's a roamer in here. Just make sure there's nothing hiding the back cap. Or, like, if there's a roamer sitting right here and your team pushes choke, like, that's a free medic kill. Um, so you just kind of want to make sure you're... I, I, I like, I, like, as scout on this map, you want to scout, okay, guys? You want to scout for your team and tell them where stuff is. So that's what you want to do. Like, check sewers, check IT. Is what IT is what we call... I could do terminology. Should I do that before I move on to other classes? I'll finish scout because I'm almost done. Um, but yeah, this is what we call sewers. That's IT. So I would check IT and check sewers. And uh, if this is an okay direction to push out of. Um, usually if your team comes through choke, their team is going to be holding on their kit or falling back to their choke point right there. 
Um, so this is a good direction to come out of if you think you can catch something. If I see a demo like spamming rulers as they come through choke, and he's like backing out elf, and I have a buff, then I'll probably try and just bomb him and try and kill him. Um, but that's probably why I'm not a very good scout. Um, it's probably better to just screen him and get a height advantage and uh, just help push your help your team push them out of middle. Um, if your combo's Ubering in, it's a really hard point to Uber into um, because there's a lot of ground to cover. Um, it's kind of like Viaduct where the team can hold the point, but then as soon as you come in, you can just they can just run the other way and they force you to Uber to, to take the point, but then they get away with the Medic. If you can go with the Uber and if the Medic's a little out of position, then you can probably get him. Um, but in general, I think on this map, it's it's probably more important to just keep your medic alive after the push. Um, so I would play pretty close to him and just play top here. Um, like if your medic pushes point with your pocket, then he if he's right here, like the vision is pretty shit, right? Like I can only see this. I am if I'm flashing people in front of me, I'm not going to be looking there. I'm not going to be looking there. So when the Uber ends, it's like if you're on the point when the Uber's over, it's kind of like you're fucked, right? Like if, if a roamer decides he wants to flank from that direction or up here, or if he was hiding IT. Or if there's like a scout that was hiding on this crate right here, um, then he can come in after the Uber and shoot you on point. So as a scout, I would probably just try and like zone the medic. I would I would like clear the right side for him. Um, you can check gay spots. Uh, just like make sure like stand above him. Uh, call for med, get a buff, and then I don't know. Just try and make sure he's protected, and then get the cap. Um, it's kind of like you you, ha you also have the passive and aggressive scout, kind of like you have the roamer in the pocket. Um, so that's kind of another thing you want to go over with your scouts. Um, on your team, like how you want to Uber into this middle point, but just pushing middle in general, I would probably most of the time come through choke. Um, it, maybe IT if you come late, just make sure there's no roamer here to just fuck you when you come out. Um, but if your team's already on the point, or if your team's like right there and they're falling back already, then you could come this way and uh, try and pinch a couple kills. Like if you get people turned this direction and when your pocket jumps them uh, right here, right there, um, then that's pretty good. It's a really good mid for scouts. Uh, there's a lot of corners to hide in. Um, you can screen yourself from a lot of spam. Uh, if you hide right here, then you have options. You know, you can go to the right, or you can go to point, or you can go up top, or you can go to the left. Like it's it's you can kind of mind game people in this middle a lot. Uh, so try and do that, I guess. Try and just I don't know, be sneaky, be a sneaky scout, but uh, and just pounce on them when you see your soldiers jumping or doing damage, or when your demo's calling damage targets. Anything else you guys want to go over on Scout really quick? Uh, the only other thing I had was off-class options. I talked about it a little for uh, last. It's a pretty good sniper map. Um, here, let me kill myself. Not in real life, lol. Pan, bur Pan versus Boston Basher. Always use Basher. Did I have the Pan equipped or something? It's because I troll too much. Um, I would always use Basher if you need to build Uber with your medic. It's it's really, really valuable. Well, the pad doesn't actually build faster. Uh, sniper to middle is pretty good. Um, on uh, I, I, I've noticed on a lot of times where we're... Um, if we fail push last and they retake two, I've seen Justin come this way and like uh, post up right here and just like put a scope on their IT, and if the roamer comes that way early, or if the combo comes this way, then you can try to body shot the medic or something like that. I'm using the fucking heat maker. Anyways, it's a pretty good sniper middle. Um, you can, like, you can go, like, all the way back here, I think. Uh, no, where is it? Oh, it's, it's on middle. If you get up top, you can see all the way up to here. Um, but you can just post up a choke and lock down the left. You can lock down crates. Uh, you don't have to commit to the fight too much. Um, uh, like right here is probably the ideal positioning if your team's zoning for you pretty well. Like if your team calls an aggressive left strategy, I would have your scout probably play on the right and just make sure nothing pushes you for free anyways. And then I would just post up your sniper here, try to get a shot on the demo, and then shoot the medic, deny them that, and then your demo and your soldiers will be pushing them from the left and spamming this area. Because if you're posted up right here, the medic probably won't cross. So your demo and your soldier should be getting a lot of damage in this direction here. Oh, Jurati too. You always want to throw Jurati because it's bad to DSCA. So if you can throw Jurati on a DSCA client server, uh, you're doing pretty well for yourself. <clears throat> Spy. Spy's pretty good. Uh, there's three directions you can go to get behind them for free. 
are uh, not for free, but sewers has a door, so it's probably not ideal. IT is pretty good. Um, if you can, I don't know if you're cloak and dagger or what, but there's an ammo pack right here for right before you go into middle. Um, if you know that if it, if you're holding two and they're on middle or something like that, um, then you can just uncloak behind them here or come out of IT behind them and get a stab on the medic if they're holding lazily on t on the choke or something like that. Um, but sniper is probably the most viable off class. Heavy is pretty good on last. Um, I can do, let me do a couple off-class things on last real quick, because that's the other place where you would off-class. Um, I showed a little bit of the sniping angles, like right here when you push in far far right is probably the best. Um, like you can move up here a little bit and you get even more angles, obviously. For holding last, as sniper, oh this is a really good angle here. This is one you guys need to know. Also for medics. Did you fix it? No, it's still not fixed. Okay, yeah, you can body shot a medic from 150 from this angle. If you if you know the meds on Spire and he jumps across, you can just like one shot him for 150. It's pretty gay, pretty gay. Also right here, just put a dot right here and get a scout when he comes in maybe. Um, you're kind of overextended though. You probably have to want to have someone with you. A uh, roamer could probably be sitting right there and baiting you pretty well if the scout tries to push you. Um, right here is a really good angle uh, to snipe from if they if they try to creep in lobby. Uh, you get a free shot on the medic. Um, where else? Right here is just pretty good. Like if you if you're watching this when they try to peek it, and then you can just run back in and cycle if they push in that direction. Uh, also, if they try to slow push in the left and you're back here by your team, um, then you got to maybe one or two shots, or you force the medic to pop through that, uh, depending on how good the other sniper is. Um, NG spots. Um, just do gunslinger so I can shit little baby dick sentries out everywhere. Um, just right here, probably, and build it up quickly. Um, as soon as it's up, though, I like... Uh, there's a few different good spots. This is pretty good. This is actually pretty solid. They can't spam it from there. They have to commit to one of the middle entrances to spam it, and they can't spam it from there. Um, top right is the only spot where they could spam it for free, but then if you have a pocket or a demo that's not asleep, they would probably be taking some pretty heavy spam as well. Uh, this is the spot I like to use, because they have to like commit completely to kill it. Um, you can only spam it from far right, but no one is going to be like slow pushing that. They're going to get crushed if they push that direction. Uh, if you come in here as scout, and there's like a level 2 right here, and you like, if you're jumping into a fight back here and you don't know the sentries there, it just fucks you. Um, where else? I think those are probably the two best. Just put, like, if you just get a gun up here if you have time. Uh, build it to level 2 or 3. Probably just level 2, and then move it to wherever you want it. Probably right there or right there are your two best spots. Um, as heavy, you probably want to play pretty close to the door. Um, I know Seagull says this spot destroys. It kind of does. If you if you can get a heavy buffed right here, and if they push in far right, and if you have a heavy at 450 health, then it's like almost impossible for them to spam him, and you can just light people up if they try getting cap time. Uh, if they call people in the middle, you know you can do this and uh, deny them the left side pretty well. If they hear a heavy spun up, um, if they hear him shooting at the rest of the team, they might try and flank him. But that's part of like being good on a heavy off class, is like you have to know if you're going to get flanked. Uh, if you only count like three people over here, then look for a roamer or a scout pick here, obviously. Um, but like right here is pretty good as well. Like you, you can get right up against the lip and it protects you really well. Um, I'm on Brass Beast, yeah. I, I'm an MVM professional, guys, okay? Brass Beast is too strong. <coughs> uh, but otherwise, just uh, if your medic ubers you on the point, it's pretty good. They have to do a million damage to kill you after the uh, ubers over. Um, up top's really strong. Uh, Enigma in a scrim we played last night, I think was up here, and he didn't come out till after the Ubers were over, and he just jumped out and did this and just crushed us, I think. Um, what else is heavy? I think that's all I would do is heavy. I'd play either close to spawn, up top, or around the point somewhere, just using the, the terrain to, like, screen you from projectile damage, and then it's harder for them to kill you. Uh, that's about it for Scout, though. Any other questions, um, for... For scouting on this map. When to seek buffs before you push. Before they push and be before you pu or before you push. <laughs> Playing on the point, that's pretty good. Um as a scout I like to get the buff like if we're pushing uh if we're gonna push middle uh, I like to get the buff like right here so I can go IT if I want to, or I can go sewers if I want to. If I'm trying to wait for a buff and choke, on, when you, the medic has to potentially uber people from a roamer or a demo spam, 
um, then that's too late. I like to get their buff a little earlier, and then just try and get in and make room for them, and then get the secondary buff maybe if I'm pressing people out of the point. Uh, pushing across the point's okay. Um, you you kind of caught out of position there against uh, quick soldiers and scouts. If you if you're pushing this way to try and kill the demo right away, then there should be two scouts from this direction. They'll just kill you. Um, but if you sneak in and you know their scouts are just going up top every round, then maybe it's like a viable strat. Like if you know they're going top left, maybe you can even like sneak in this direction and like kill the medic when he comes in. Uh, but that's that's a lot riskier. And playing top is so good as scout on this map. I would probably default to that. A stalemate at second. I'm pretty sure I covered that. Um, I know Seagull likes to hold up here and just be ready if they try to push in from last or anything like that. Do other classes? Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll do Soldier now. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, I have the original. Okay, for rollouts, I don't know if you jump off these walls at all. I'll do the mid rollouts first. Um, for Romer, you don't need to get fancy because your medic is, like, slow. Um, usually you want to have one person equalizing and one person um, pocketing. Or one one person equalizing, one either gunboating on the Romer, um, where, in which case you would be the one that would want to jump. Or um, change title to soldier. Thank you, Heinlander. Oh, it doesn't fit. That's what she said. Okay. Um, but on soldier, you just want to run with your medic. Equalize. You know, like, uh, I don't know, that's too low. You probably want to equalize to about right here and just drop it. And then just start walking and uh, be ready for your medic to pick you up. And then you want to be like 300 when you're coming through here. You don't, want to, you don't want to equalize to this point because a demo could get some early spam in if he pushes up that way. Or a scout could get up top and ruin your crit buff. Uh, you want to make sure you just equal take off your equalizer like right here and make sure you're 300 as you're walking up through choke here. Um, for Romer, like you don't need to do. Any, I'll show you. There's a. I have a YouTube video with a pretty good gunboats rollout that. Um, uh, who did it? Leather Sock did it. Um, here, I'll just play that really quick. Uh, but ge in, generally on Romer, uh, our our Romer gunboats and our pocket equalizes. So our scout or our, uh, our our pocket Lang will just equalize to right there and take it off. And then Zebrian will just stay with me and charge me on the way to middle. Because once the scouts are gone, then um, the roamer needs to be with the medics to keep building. And then he picks up the pocket right about here. And then once you have 300 gear, I mean, you have tons of options once you get in the middle. I'll talk about that in a second, though. I'll finish the rollouts. I think that's about it for standard rollout. Uh, there are some gunboats rollouts that are pretty good. Um, let me show you guys. This is the one that I found uh, a second ago. <coughs> This is an older version, but it still works. Uh, the terrain's pretty similar. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can do you, this ramp right here is also like the, the optimal demo rollout is where you do that same surf up the ramp, and then this one right here as well. You do that on demo. Uh, it's on soldier. That's pretty extreme. You're probably not going to be able to duplicate that every time. Um, but I would, uh, if you're a roamer on your team, I would jump in a server uh, with, uh, make sure you have a server with ping so you don't, like, get used to zero ping rocket jumps. Um, and work on a rollout like that where uh, you do the, the two skip jumps where you surf up the ramp. If you're, if you're, oh, and also a good point about this, uh, you're obviously going to be gunboating and make sure your medic taps you to, like, 240 at least before you do this rollout. Um, just before your medic gets on your demo, just call for medic and jump with your demo and try and get your medic to heal you for just 40, 40 crit buff right away before you do your first jumps. Um, but that's some that's a decent gunboats rollout that you can do to get to middle quick. Um, and here I'll link this video if you guys want to take a look at that later. This also has a demo rollout on it and I'll show that later as well. Um, but that's a pretty pretty solid rollout, and you have options once you get there. Usually you want to try and kill the demo before he gets to their health kit, and just deny him that. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Let's go do middles now. Mmm. So much health. Look at this buff. 
What's my scout interp? I use Chris's uh, high frames config. Or Chris's, yeah, Chris's high frames. So I get, I use his, uh, also, I also use his uh, low, low ping internet settings or whatever it's called. Low latency. So it's like point zero three two or whatever. Interp zero for projectile. Um, but anyways, uh, middles is soldier. Uh, so you're probably going to be coming this way almost all the time. Um, at this point, you kind of want to play off where your demo is. If your demo is going this way and trading stickies with your uh, with their demo, then as um, as roamer on this map, I would probably like jump up here and make sure there's nothing flanking this direction. Or this is probably as pocket. This is as pocket. As pocket, this is what I would do. As roamer, um, I would probably do if I was a good roamer, I would do some sort of gunboats rollout, and I would go get try and get here quick. And I would probably work on this crate and try to do early damage to their demo. Um, you can also do stuff like denying their health pack if you do a gunboats rollout. And you can come this direction and just play in IT. Um, which is what we call this room, because it's computers. IT. <laughs> Get it? But anyways, this roamer, I would probably try and dominate this area. Um, you don't have to sit here behind the crates or on top of that crate. You can sit right here and just spam this and deny that health kit. And then once you see the medic commit, you can do shit like this as roamer. Um, I should probably do Roamer and Pocket, like, separately, huh? So, as Pocket, if I if my, if I see my demo right here, um, I would probably jump to this crate right here and do, like, early damage right here and deny scouts. Uh, you're probably gonna get fucked by a couple scouts, though, if you do that. Uh, so I don't know if you just wanna push up this direction and try to just deny them this area for your demo. Um, it just kinda depends. It, it's, it's kind of a reactive middle where you either want to react to what they're doing and counter jump them or have a set strategy where you kind of just going to throw your life away to do four rockets worth of damage and then hope your scouts clean up. It's not a mid where you can like take positioning and then pocket really well because if you jump up to like right here against good scouts you're going to take a ton of damage. Against a good demo that's sitting right here with a medic on him you're going to take a ton of damage. Um, so I probably wouldn't linger up here too, too long. Um, if you see a soldier, if when you want to jump instantly is if you see their soldier right there. If you see a soldier right there doing damage to your demo, then you have to counter jump him and like fight him. You have to fight him. You have to make sure he's not there fighting your demo. You have to take pressure off of him. Um, if I go left anyways, that's probably what I would do is I would either push this way. I would probably send a rocket that way just to do damage. If my medic's on me or if, if, I, if the demo's stacked and the medic's on me, I might start walking this way and see if I can do any quick spam damage that way on like a scout that's retreating or something. Um, I don't know. It's just you have you have to kind of have an idea of what kind of mid you want to develop with your team. Uh, but as the pocket, I would probably do something like that. So make sure you stay a little lower. Um, I wouldn't jump straight off the ground. Oops! I need more honey, honey tea. <clears throat> I'm talking a lot. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> also, if you get this position, this pill's pretty good. Um, you can sit here and deny the demo. Uh, if your medic, if you guys push up to the right side, then I would uh, probably play the ground until I I was needed to jump, and I would like to spam this, and then like maybe do a jump in here like that, uh, and just try and get aggressive that direction. Or you could just jump up top. Um, you could just jump straight away up here and do shit like this. If you see anything coming out of IT, obviously kill it. Uh, nothing should be coming this way if you're standing up here. Um, you probably want to, like, if you jump up this direction, you probably want to get early damage here. But then where you're going to get killed from is right there, from scouts um, and the other soldiers. Uh, counter jumpers as well is what's going to kill you there. Um, also ammo. This is kind of a shitty middle for ammo. Um, if you're holding. Like, if you're holding back and not at... Uh, if you're not holding up a choke, if you're holding on the middle, uh, make sure you fall back to one of the ammo packs, like right there, or the little the little shitty ones. I think they're in pretty okay positions as far as middles goes, but it's just a, a thing to note. As pocket, you want to make sure you have plenty of ammo when they push in. <coughs> that's just that's just a pocket tip in general. Always make sure you have um, plenty of rockets when the uh, uber fights are ready, because if you if you end up shotting during your boost, you're not a very good pocket. Uh, let's see here. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, if you go right on middle, though, uh, yeah, we should work this crate. You can also just walk this way. If your mid's on your demo and walking them up this way, you can just walk this as well. And then if they're pushing this way, you can jump that direction and just flank the medic if he's pushing up the right. If you guys trade health kits. Um, 
it's hard to script the middle what you should do is pocket in general i would probably try and say try to make sure your medic's not getting directly flanked by a scout or your and make sure your demo is not being pressured too early if you see a roamer and a scout right here um that's your priority like make sure you deny a scout and then get height advantage and contest the roamer um and then also make sure your your medic's safe i guess like if, if you push up to the right with your medic then just make sure nothing's flanking him from there and make sure nothing pushes point and then sit up here and just do damage to things that are stuck uh there's not a whole lot to talk about soldier on this middle uh scouts are much more important scouts and demo because if you're sitting up top here, then, um, if you're sitting up top as a soldier, you're probably going to take a lot of damage. But you can also do a lot. Uh, you can do a lot quickly, uh, but I wouldn't linger too much. I would definitely try to keep keep moving. Um, try to dodge a lot of the spam. Um, deny the health kits and do jumps like this when the mid's going well and just crush them at choke when they're getting out. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, as roamer, a few things you can do as roamer, like I said, you can come quickly to the right here. If you don't do a gumbo throughout, even if you just walk with the medic through choke, as a roamer, you can come in here like this and just like try and walk straight into their IT. You're probably going to take a lot of damage if you do it, but then they have to kind of chase you, and that's also a really slow way of doing it. Um, there's probably much, much more efficient ways to get in here. Um, you have to kind of experiment with it. I've, I haven't soldiered on this map. Um, I just know from seeing what other roamers do. Uh, this is Tag's domain when we scrim Banny's team. Tag will be in here like when we come through choke. And... Uh, like, Zebron also has a gunboat rollout where he um, works on the demo pretty well and uh, denies scouts. Um, but Tag also um, is another roamer I've seen doing it. Uh, he just comes into IT here and will just wait. And, like, if a scout can test him, it's a free rocket on him. Free hunter damage if you just shoot that part right there. Um, and then if they... You kind of force the team to either fight you, which is good, because you're doing this and denying them a health kit. Or you force them to go to that go that direction, and if they go that direction, then you just walk out and you do this, and you do the secondary bomb on the medic. Um, that's probably the most effective thing I've seen roamers do. Um, otherwise, you can probably try and just walk up here. Like if you come in this direction, you can probably try and just walk in here late. And if you see them, like maybe put a rocket or two there just to spam scouts back, maybe. Um, but if you see them walking over to the left here, and you're like right here, it's a pretty good position to jump in and kill the medic from. Um, the other way, if they go to the right and you're walking in this way, then I would probably just, I mean, you need to get in there and get early damage. Uh, so I'd probably just do shit like this and just try and stay alive um, as long as possible and just kind of bait them to shoot at me and uh, try and do damage to scouts, do damage to demo. It's kind of standard for a lot of middles how roamers should play. Um, you know, damage things, try, try to just be a nuisance. <coughs> What else can we talk about? Uh, let's do... I think that's good enough for middles, right? We did rollouts and we did a few things you can do. Uh, how about pushing two? Um, if you're the roamer, I would probably I would probably dominate sewer most of the time. Sewer and IT are where you want to be as roamer most of the time on this map. Uh, if you don't see a scout here, um, it's a pretty... like I, I'd probably just walk up here to the health kit, uh, make sure there's nothing hiding. Uh, you know, get the health kit, obviously, and then push over to this direction, and then just start spamming shit. Like, if they're holding on bats, send a few rockets that way, maybe even that way. Like, if, if they're holding back in yard, um, you probably want to post up in sewers and just wait for your team to come in. And uh, once they're in, once the uber fight's done, I mean, then you're ready to just jump from wherever. And you can bomb bats, you can, you can sit up here and do pretty solid damage. I've seen roamers bomb here and just put two rockets on me. Um, it's really, really hard to hold bats against a good roamer. Um... Another point, if you walk in, if you walk in, uh, just a point in general about holding this, you don't want to let them walk in for free. You want to try and get as much damage here as possible, especially if they have Uber. This is where you want to force them, right here. You don't want to force them when they're already in your faces up here. You want to force them right on the choke. Uh, whether that be your roamer or a scout that's like creeping right here, or a demo, whoever, they, he needs to be forced. Um, but if they walk into like right here, if you're, if you're a roamer and you get a buff, and you manage to get up to this positioning. Um, then you can do jumps like this. And if they're holding on bats, like, this is probably a spot where a lot of medics like to hold. There's a pill, and you're kind of protected. But if you fly in a, with a buff, you can do two rockets on the medic right here, and it's really hard to dodge. There's no room for him to dodge. Um, and this is for Roamer, by the way. I, would, I wouldn't do that as pocket, because you're just going to get separated from your medic. Um, I would probably just work sewers most of the time, though. Just look for your openings, and then you just jump when it, when you have the opportunities, obviously. Um, 
You can also get behind them pretty easily. Uh, if you just walk in through IT, you can come up top here. If you know they're holding right here, you can like just sit here and just troll scouts. Uh, make, make them come back to fight you. Um, spots where they don't want to fight you and then work the health kits. Shit like that. Uh, what else has room? We're pushing to... I think that's about it. Height advantage is important. You probably have to fight Spire a lot. Um, you can do a lot of shit around the, uh, with a little clipping on the Spire. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can't script too much of the fights. I would probably focus more on sewers, though, than choke or IT. Uh, having the health and ammo in there is really useful for you. Uh, you don't want to take up too much beam time from the pocket. Um, so I would probably default to coming in that way. Uh, IT, if you can sneak into IT, if they're not watching it, if they're being lazy, um, a scout or someone should call that. If you're in position to come this way quickly, then maybe go for it. Like, there's also a health kit right there. Um, but if something catches you right here when you're, like, right right here on the health kit, you're probably going to die if it's a stacked pocket soldier or something. Um, but if you, if you don't get spotted and you walk into battlements and you see a medic sitting right here, that's pretty useful, but that probably won't happen too often. Um, if you know they're down a few and you think they're holding in, holding on spire area, then you could probably sneak in this direction. Uh, just come in through lower, and then you're in pretty good position to pounce on them uh, from multiple multiple positions, I guess. <coughs> uh, for pocket soldier, uh, I think we uber through choke a lot. Um, it's probably the safest. You can also work sewers. If you see a scout and a soldier holding sewers against you guys, um, then I would probably shift the heels this direction and just make sure it's make sure we take it over really really thoroughly with uh, with the pocket and uh, make room for the flank to come in. And then um, once we clear sewers, I guess, then we probably come out this direction. Most of the time, we're going to be coming through choke. Uh, as pocket, you want to make sure you check all the sticky traps. Um, right here is just a really common one. Uh, another really tricky one is like right here. Uh, I've been dead by that one once or twice. Um, and also just roller spam is something to look out for as medic. As medic coming through this... Um, I don't want to talk about medic yet, but anyway, as pocket, you just want to make sure you try, try to get your medic in clean, you know? Look up this direction, shoot rockets right there, because that's probably where you're going to be contested from if they have uber, or if they're playing you aggressively, which they probably should be if they have uber. Um, you probably want to make sure to... I don't know, check, this is like priority one, obviously, that's like priority two, and if you can walk in for free, uh, this is like what you want to do with the Ubers, like jump into them, uh, your medic will run up behind you and just get the beam on you, and you want to play hide advantage, spam them back, get the cap. <coughs> um, IT push is pretty good, if you go this way. If you go this way quickly, and if you have Uber, and if their demo is down, it's ideal, I think. Um, if their demo's up, it's like there's a lot of sticky trap spots you have to check. Uh, make sure you always check this as pocket. Um, just in general, this is another sticky trap you should probably always clear. If there's sticks there or sticks there, you probably want to shoot a rocket right here. And if there's sticks there, it'll knock them down. Um, also, if there's um, if there's traps right here, I think you can shoot right there on the corner. And it'll actually splash most of them. Um, but anyways, if you're pushing into two with Uber... Uh, this is a pretty safe route for the medic. Um, usually you want to have your demo in your pocket and just spam them back. Make sure they don't contest you and force you right there. Because you don't want to force right there. If you force right here, it's okay. Because at that point you can do, you know, shit like this and get into them and force them out to last or fight the point. Um, I've done a lot of Uber, Uber versus Uber exchanges right here. It's a pretty common spot to hold. And once they spot you, um, it's even not bad to get popped if your medic's like right here. Um, if your medic's on you through this choke and the soldier peeks him right there, I'd probably just jump up this way and try and force and just do the uber exchange right here. Um, if you can walk in, walking in with the uber is also another good, um, I don't know, it's it's kind of a hit or miss thing where if, they, if they're not looking at you and you sneak in here with the pocket medic, it's a pretty good positioning. Uh, if they're holding on bats, if they don't have uber, then you can like jump up here and just deny them this and the medic can just walk up and get the get the beam on you without committing to the fight too too heavily, I guess. Um, but this should be the end goal of the Uber. The end goal of the Uber as a pocket should be height advantage and cap time and pushing them out of the point. 
Um, if, it's, if it's an Uber versus Uber exchange, then you probably just want to do damage to whatever's not Ubered. If you exchange Ubers right here, I would probably try and juggle the pocket so you get your medic through. And once you're through, I would probably try to jump over here. You're probably going to have a demo or a scout or two over in this area. Um, you're probably going to have people fighting in yard. Um, that's a good spot to fall back to. If you're Uber through IT, um, try to get your medic over to this area to heal the scouts when they come in. Um, also, your medic might need to fall out to choke. Uh, also, when you Uber in through choke, just keep in mind like how good... If it's, a, if it's a good Uber and you get a kill or two, um, stay in. Uh, try and just protect your medic with height advantage. Uh, look for scouts that are creeping around uh, down at the bottom of the spire when the Uber expires. Uh, otherwise, just keep the spam forward. Uh, make sure they're not contesting you. This is like priority one. If there's a demo right here, that's like pretty high priority. Um, this is like a little cheeky spot where scouts can flank from if they try and sneak past you. Um, I think you can just spam right there too. That's a pretty good spot to just spam if they're trying to push you from bats. Um, I know Harbu did that a lot when he played them. Uh, also just right here. Uh, but the end goal of the Uber should be height advantage and, uh, I don't know, just getting them out of the point. Having better positioning than them at the end of the Uber. However you want to do that. It involves getting as many people involved as possible. And if you come through choke, um, usually that means you're going to be like the spearhead of the aggression where you jump up here with the Uber and the medic follows you up and then like once the Uber's over you can jump back with them and uh, just regroup with your team, get people buffed up or you can stay in aggressively and just have your medic fall back to the rest of your spawns. If, uh, if you're up here with like 300 health because you just got Ubered, then you can probably play this pretty um, independently. You don't need your medic to sit on you. Um, anyways, I think that's enough for pushing two. Uh, pushing last... I hate going bottom left. Going bottom left is like, if you kill a demo late and they're like four down, maybe bottom left, like quickly. Um, the longer you take, the more likely it is there's going to be a sniper there, the more likely it is there's going to be a heavy here, the more likely it is there's going to be a pocket and a demo right here, just lobbing shit at your face. Even if there's no stickies, um, if the demo spawns when you're coming this direction and comes to the right door, then he's just going to do a million damage when you come through. And if you don't have Uber, you get crushed. We learned that the hard way. You probably... I think we'll probably watch... Um, I think I'm going to watch one of our demos where we tried to push this direction a few times and we just got fucking crushed at this doorway. Um, one Uber exchange we had, we thought we were going to be all fancy pants. It was like... It was just Platinum and his medic and maybe someone else versus... Me and Lang, and uh, I think uh, Brad on demo, and then we also had a scout. But they were getting spawns in a few seconds, and we had Uber and we capped, and they were only two up. So we decided to go this way to push faster, right? And so we Ubered in here, and Plaid just Ubered through and forced me, and then just jumped past me and killed Brad, I think, or did a million damage to Brad. So the Uber got so... we, we it, They had a way better Uber because they didn't split. He forced us to split. And then he just fell back in here. It's a, it's a really good position for de for defending. It's hard to push into unless you have a huge number advantage or unless they're holding back right. If you have a scout call that they're holding back right, then maybe default to this position and see if you can just get your medic in. Like, if you can get your medic in for free all the way to, like, right here where he Ubers and now you can Uber onto them. I'm like, my mouth is so fucking dry. But if you can walk your medic in that direction, then it's pretty good. Um, if you come in this way as a, as a combo with the Uber, um, you're probably going to have to Uber really, really soon. Uh, right here, uh, make sure you check all these sticky traps if you come this direction. Um, shoot a rocket there, shoot a rocket there. This is like a really common sticky spot. If you can get to right here and they don't have Uber, it's not terrible to pop here anyways. If you have a scout and a demo, um, just flash people, force them into spawn, and then force the cap time, and then like get height advantage and shit like that. Except don't fuck it up. Like you can stand up here. Uh, this is a really good position actually. You can get splashed next to the wall, but usually if they, if you have good positioning and like an Uber advantage, they're going to be falling into either up top or spawn. So that's not a bad spot to get to. Mmm. <clears throat> Mm. Uh, but yeah, just in general this pocket, tr make sure you check all the lips. There are a lot of low ceilings in this map. Um, that's one thing I like about Badlands is that, like a lot of the chokes are like, I don't know, there's not a lot of clipped areas where like there's sticky traps everywhere. Um, like right here, right here, and right here. Like there's just like a flat wall, you know? It's one of the reasons Badlands is... I don't know, one of the most liked maps is there's not a lot of really, really gay sticky trap spots. Um, 
I guess most people know them all as well, that's probably why. But anyways, uh, going, taking lobby over with Uber is also another good thing you can do. Uh, just bring the Uber in this way, make sure there's no sniper here, just rape your medic. Uh, check Sticky's there, check Sticky's right here on this lip. Um, but if you can get your medic into this area, uh, get your scouts buff, get your gromer buff, they can walk in that way. Um, coming in middle here, if you see a heavy... <coughs> excuse me, if you see a sentry and a heavy or something, like, if you see a sentry, I would probably... I just fucking killed myself. Did I have like 10,000 health? I had 10,000 health. We've been doing this too long. <clears throat> but anyways, if, uh, if, if you see a sentry, tank your demo on either one of these entrances, I think, as medic, and try and spam it down. Um, but his pocket, if we push this side or that side, I, you're probably gonna have to pop right here. There's too much shit to worry about. And, like, you don't want to chance it uh, dropping an Uber or something like that or dropping your pocket. So I'd probably pop at this point and then, like, just jump into them, do a bunch of damage, and try and just control the point. If you if you see four things here, as soon as you Uber, try and make them split and then maybe jump away. Except don't fuck up your jump. Jump away and then try and kill, like, a scout or something that came out the left door, you know. Uh, the other ideal option for pushing in is if you take over lobby for, for free... If, uh, if you don't get popped or anything coming out of here or coming through there, um, then work over to the far right and just check all the traps once again. Uh, just call that you're clear and then just keep walking and just try and spam back and spam your way up here. And if you can get to this positioning without popping, that's also golden. Um, at that point, you can just pop. Uh, he can pop on you. You can jump up here and force them and you can just walk with your demo. Uh, you can jump up behind them if you want. Um, uh, I'd probably leave that for more for Rumor and Scouts though. Uh, me and Lang have done that. We went on a mission, actually, with one of the Ubers, and we, we ended up just crushing after the... Uh, we, we did an Uber exchange right here, and then I ended up right here, and then Lang jumped up top with me. And what ended up happening is they... I think they fell into spawn when we Ubered. And then after our Uber expired, they came out this direction, and Lang just did a million damage. And I just tanked him, and it was the easiest push of my life. Uh, but that's about it for last pushes. Um... As Roamer, try off-classing. Try, try Spy, get up top behind him. Try Sniper if you're a good sniper. Uh, also, just getting up top as Roamer is probably probably the best. Uh, protect, like, zone for your medic, I guess. Uh, work work the right side quickly uh, with with your scouts. Like, if you get in if you get in for free right here, and you can do, like, a jump like this, and scouts can come through because they know there's no sticks there or anything like that, and then people are shooting at you, uh, that's really good. Try to help your scouts on this push um, as Roamer if you stay on Soldier. I'd probably say that's a good thing to focus on. It's it's it is pretty easy to defend. There's a lot of off class options you can do with it, but it's also the forward spawn is close enough where you usually get multiple attempts at it. You know, I think it's hard. To, it's also pretty easy for the medic to get out. I think um, I haven't died too often after a push. If I if I see the Uber going badly. I can just fall out to, to main right here and come up the stairs, and I can just scream myself with needles. So I don't think it's too... I think it's a pretty good last. I think it, I think Process plays pretty well. It's one of my favorite maps. I like... I don't know. It's not too choked. There's there's options. Sewers and, um, and IT. Uh, I think it plays pretty good. There's height advantage all over the place to play. Uh, and then the last isn't too turtly. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, anything else for... For Soldier? <coughs> I don't think so. I think that's it for soldier dudes. I get the, any any questions. I guess. Uh, like I said, I don't play soldier. Um, I haven't soldiered on this map, like seriously. I usually use the fucking DH or something. It's a. I think I think it's a pretty good roamer map, uh, especially if you play sewers and IT. Play the health kits. Uh, play the chokes. Uh, scouts. It should be a pretty pretty good map to. Uh, if you get surprised by scouts, obviously they're going to probably have the upper hand in that engagement, but it's, it's a good spot to fight scouts. Like, if you're holding in areas like this, it's hard for a scout to dodge. There's not a lot of room for him. Uh, where you're going to get in trouble is, like, on firefights and shit like that. And at that point, you probably just want to, I don't know, it's probably going to be a shit fest with, uh, like, a 6v6. I have not done the medic part, no. Each class is taking 30 minutes. Is it really? Is it already 4? Oh my god, alright, I need to move this along here. I didn't think it was going to be this long, guys. I Like I said, I always fucking ranting. I always rant too much. This is going to be like two hours. Maybe two hours? Is that too fucking long? God. 
I'll try and do this, uh, maybe I'll try and speed it up a little next time. <clears throat> I've only done Scout and Soldier. Alright, uh, let's do Demo Man. Demo, uh, it's a really tricky rollout. Um, you're gonna need to work on it. Um, let me play, first of all. I have not mastered this, because I don't play demo too often. So let me play once again this, uh, this video that Leathersock made. <clears throat> and I linked it earlier. I can, I'll link it again when I upload the VOD somewhere. Um, but this is a, it's a pretty good rollout. I think, I don't even know who came up with it. Banny or someone? <laughs> What are those nerds? It's it's pretty easy and it's it's fun. Look at this, look at this. You can also put this sticky, um can you guys see my cursor? You can also put the sticky right here. You can see my cursor, right? Hang on. Yeah you can, okay. Um you can also put the sticky right here and do the jump and it's quicker. Uh I, I know a lot of the good demos do that. You can also put it where he puts it, I think. I think it still works. This is an old version, but I think it still works. Uh, right here, it's a little changed. I'll try and attempt it. I'll try and fucking attempt it. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the gist of the of the jump. You want to put it uh, your first one right here and jump horizontally, and then surf into this ramp. If you hit this ramp while you're crouching, hold crouch, and you slide up it, and you can uh, put your second one right here um, on the um, on the new version. It's a uh, it's it's not as far forward this edge. Um, it's like a angled wall. Um, You'll have to work on it and experiment with uh, what works for you guys. You don't have to do this. This is like the optimal rollout because you don't take any fall damage and you surf twice so it's it's really fucking fast. Uh, so if you want to get your team a cheap advantage on middles, just practice this rollout. Uh, just drill it until you uh, get it down. Um, put that one right there and then just horizontal jump and then surf off that choke point. It's really, really quick and this is what all the uh, invite demos should be doing. If they're not, then they're just they don't practice the rollouts. Um, if you want to get your team a pretty good advantage, that's that's what I would uh, focus on. How do you get the icons on your browser? We are doing Google Chrome mentoring right now. Uh, you go to like, um, like if you add a, this is like a fucking YouTube video I have added, just for lols. But if you go here, uh, you can right click the icon and go to edit, and then you can just delete the name. So now it's just icons. So you have like a million bookmarks. Instead of just five. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Uh, that's the rollout. I can try and attempt it. Let me try and attempt it. Okay, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. You can put it right there. Oh, I almost did it. Okay. We're going to need some hurt me's. I'll do this like, I'll try it like three times. Okay, I'll try it three times. And then we'll move on, because I'm probably going to fuck it up. Here, we'll just do the safe one. I think this still works. Look at that. See, that's how we did it in the video. You can also do it off the spawn door. It's trickier, but you can do it. Um, and then this is where it's changed. I think you put it right there, and then you do this, and you fuck it up. Um, except you do it. See, I can't do this reliably. I don't play this class. Alright, alright, alright. I don't think I'm going fast enough. Maybe I'm deading too late. I don't even know. There we go. Fuck! One more try. One more try. Last try. Last try. Fuck! Anyways, you uh, you land on here. I wasn't going fast enough. My demo jumps are shit. And then you surf up here. Um, on middles, that's what we'll talk about now. Um, you have two options, I think, as demo. Maybe three. Uh, that's kind of a kill like a death trap area if you go that direction. Uh, usually you probably want to play your health kit. Like when you come in the middle, after you surf that first, that ramp and you come in this direction, start charging up your sticky and then uh, contest their demo. Um, try to sticky off their health kit. If you if he doesn't sticky your health kit because he fucked up his rollout, then you can sticky off theirs and that's a huge advantage already. Because you can get here and now you're full health and you know their demo is probably about 100 because he's not getting the health kit. And also you deny it from scouts, you deny it from the roamer if he comes early, shit like that. Um, also, uh, just if you're walking up this way, you're also going to need to start screening yourself uh, from scouts and roamers. Um, you want to fight the demo first, that's like priority one. Also you can, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the round timer is, uh, I can find that out, but 
I don't practice this, so I probably wouldn't. Uh, I know Banny has done this to me, like, when I was on scout in past seasons. You just shoot your scout at that rock when scouts are jumping up when they come through the rollout. Did I say shoot scout? You shoot your um, sticky at that rock when scouts jump on, to on top as they come through choke, and then you dead on them. Um, it's You don't do damage to the demo, but you do damage to the scouts, which is pretty good. Um... Anyways, fight their demo. Uh, this is your. This is where you're gonna get flanked from. Uh, you can just put a sticky there, leave it, like let them see it, I guess. Uh, and then maybe they wouldn't. Um, maybe they wouldn't even push you from that direction. You can just start spamming rollers. Um, do shit like this. Uh, try and just screen yourself. There's a lot of little gay areas you can sticky trap. I've been caught by this as medic a few times. Um, if you're if you're think you're the mid's going south and you need to start backing up, maybe just try and throw a few stickies right there as you back up. And then if the med pushes point quickly with someone, you can dead on them. That caught me once or twice. Uh, right here is a pretty good area to sticky trap. Um, I also... Okay, we'll do that one to go the other way. Um, just in general, uh, push the left health kit. Uh, fight the demo. Um, try and damage the scouts when they come through. If you push up aggressively on the left, like if their demo's here, it's if he'll probably beat you if he comes that direction, I think. If you, if you go that direction, you're usually a little quicker. Um... Wait, what's going on? The video's black? No, it's not. Anyways, uh, push up left here. Try and just do damage in this area. Uh, I, I don't think you need to sticky sewers. Things don't usually come uh, sewers on middles. Um, if you see something duck in there and you're in this positioning, obviously put two there so you can't come back out. Um, otherwise, this is where you're going to get killed from. Um, so start shooting that. I would shoot the demo once or twice. My next stickies, if I play demo. Um, also, I don't invite demos. This might be... I'm talking out of my ass here, guys. But this is just what I've seen. Um, and if I played demo, this is probably how I would try and do it. I would probably put sticks here to just, like, troll scouts and make sure they don't push me too aggressively. And then I would start falling back to my medic a little bit. And I would, like, do shit like this and make sure Roamer's, like, denying that crate. Or denying that crate right there. Um, if the med's on me and I have a soldier bombing them, then I might push up point right here and start doing shit like this. Um, make, if there's something IT, like, crush that. Um, but in, I'm such a shit demo. I can't even DM what there's no one on the server. But anyways, um... If the beam's on you and you have aggressive soldiers and your scouts are on them, then you can push across point and just start spamming them when they start falling out of choke. Or trying to fall out of choke. Uh, what is it? Impulse 101. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I think most a lot of demos default to the left side just for the kit. And they kind of try and just play it by ear and see how this fight goes. If you get a dead on the other demo and you get your kit um, and you deny him his, then it's going really well. And you want to make sure you tell that to your team, tell them to get aggressive, uh, try and hook up with a medic, and then just push across point and get damage on them. Wherever you can get damage on middles. That's that's double, guys. If you were to try try and do damage to the other team on uh, the middle fights, it's uh, it's generally useful if you uh, if you do damage. Um, but anyways. Uh, the other things demo do is if they push up this way, they skip that health kit. If you fuck up your rollout, it might be a good idea to try. Because if you su if you assume the other demo is doing a quick rollout like you are supposed to be, and you fuck yours up, then maybe he's going to deny you the health kit anyways. So maybe you want to come this direction. And now you can like do shit like this and deny scouts if they try to jump up here, um, but on their side. So you can do shit like this and try and get damage on the scouts, and just walk this way, get that little pill, and then like do damage to, uh, to anything coming out of IT. Um, if teams decide they want to try an IT rollout, then you can just kind of deny them, like, entry in the middle. If you get all the way over here to the right, and you don't see them coming through choke, then that's like a panic button where you want to start just spamming this, and, uh, pro like, call that to your team. Like, if you don't see anything there, you have to assume they're probably going to come from that direction. Um. Where are you going to mid, Brad? Mid, yeah, exactly. I will say that we fixed that. We our our mids have been so much better the last couple nights. We'll watch a demo of last night where we played pretty well, I think. Um, anyways, let's. Uh, what else are we doing here? Yeah, pushing up the right. Um, you probably can dominate this area. Um, get like damage on the medic when he comes in with rollers. Uh, if you deny their health kit, keep denying it. Um, if you do it early enough, I know you can kill the demo sometimes if he doesn't see you coming. If he doesn't know you're on the right, or if he if he is just dumb, I guess. Then you can do shit like this and just double dead him and except not hit the fucking crate, hit the health kit. You can double dead him and kill him right away. Um, that's like a free win for your team, pretty much. Uh, if you push up to the right, then you probably want to... If you're in this area, you're probably going to be denying them this this area right here. Um, if they're right there, then you just want to keep doing this shit. If they, 
see you right here, which and adjust, which they probably should. They might move up to this direction. And if they do that, then just keep pushing them. Just keep pushing them. Like, start denying the other health kit and do shit like that. Um, probably this right here is what you want to focus on if uh, if they move that direction. Uh, if you're right here and they don't adjust, then you're going to have ten soldiers flying at your dick. And at that point, you want to have two scouts sitting on crate. And you want to hope that they can save your, di save your ass. Um, putting stickies, like, right here is a pretty good way to troll. Um, I've seen Banny use this um, a few times. But like if it, as scout, um, I think I've been caught by this. Um, as scout, if you see a demo sitting here, oh, he doesn't even have a sticky trap up. I'm gonna rush him, and then you come around the corner and he's dead to you. It's uh, you know, you just kind of you can kind of bait yourself with sticky traps in multiple spots on this point. Um, <clears throat> also, just right here is probably where you need to get pushed from by scouts and the roamer. Um, where else? I think that's about it. Like for the initial part of the mids, that's kind of what you want. Your goal should be is um, push up either the left or the right, uh, fight the demo, and then deny the combo. Um, let's see for holding middle or for pushing. Let's do holding because demo is more important for defense, I think. Uh, so for like sticky traps, um, if you if you see people choke, I think like default to choke. I don't know where you want to put your trap. I think like right here somewhere is where you can hide it. Um, it's not very hidden, like it's there, but it's not very good. Uh, right here is just not bad because they, I mean, they, if they don't look, obviously, if you put them, what you want to do here, here's the troll sticky trap, right? You put two there, three there, and then you put one there, and they're like, "LOL, a sticky trap's so shitty," and the medic's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna run around these," and then you dead them. Um, that's the troll sticky trap. Uh, where else? I think this isn't terrible. If, can you hide them there at all? Like, I feel like I've died to this before. Maybe, oh my god, that's so obvious. Where do you hide them? There's like a certain spot you hide them where it's like... They have to be, a, they have to be above them. I don't even know. I've, I've been hit by a hidden sticky trap there before where it was like... We were just fighting right here and my pocket wasn't looking and then I died to it, I think. Yeah, it's not very hidden. It's not very good. It's not ideal. This, these are much better. Um, those are like some random things you can sp experiment with in scrims. Uh, the rock is pretty good, pretty solid. Um, areas like right here aren't bad. Like if the if if you force them with pipes to come to this to this direction of the rock, then you just watch this trap. Um, oh, I'm a devil jumper, bads. And then um, uh, obviously sewers. Uh, just sticky the fucking door. Over here, uh, sticky that lip right there probably. Uh, right here also works. Um, that one's harder to check. If they shoot one rocket at the ground right there, it clears that one. If you sh put a couple right there, it's harder for them to clear it. Um, you can also just put them right here. Um, usually they're going to shade to one side or the other when they come out. Um, probably that side, actually, if they start pushing. Um, I would assume the as a as a soldier who rocket jumps with the uh, regular, if I, if, I, if I was using the regular rocket launcher, I would try to jump off this wall. So if you put your trap there, you might kill him when, when he tries to jump you, I guess. I don't know. If, they start, if you think they're pushing IT, if you know they're not coming choke, but you hear their uber coming IT or someone calls it, uh, start moving your sticky traps to spots like that. Um, yeah. Also, roller spam is really important in this choke. Um, just get used to dropping four rollers here when you're doing fights at choke. Uh, for pushing two, um, if you... Okay, a uh, big and important point for pushing two is if a scout or a roamer peeks sewers and, like, something is called there, then your job should be to lock in them in. Like, you should be doing shit like this so they can't come out, or, like, doing damage to a scout if he's doing shit like that. Um, if it's a, if it's a good team that's not baiting, like, selling out their scout completely, they're gonna come up and try to kill you, so be cautious of that. But you can, like, put two stickies here and, like, get a free pick if they try to retreat and they don't know your sticks are there. Um, but for pushing in general, like, I don't know, you can help clear stickies, you can help your pocket clear stickies, uh, you can just do spam like this, uh, it's pretty solid. Um, you probably don't want to jump or walk up this way, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it'd probably be easier to surf a rocket or something, or, like, defend yourself if you come up this direction. Um, plus you can just, like, start pushing this way quickly with your medic, and then if they fall out that way, and they, like, as a medic, alright, we'll, we'll go over this as a medic when I do, when I do medic next, but... If the medic's holding back here, as soon as I see the demo right here, if I'm on the ground back there and I see a demo right here, I have to get the fuck out. You cannot sit there and just tank that spam. You have to assume he's just going to not be retarded 
and deny you completely. Either at that point, if your medic's right here, either your soldier has to commit on him and kill him or force him back if you want to keep your medic in the fight or you just have to get the fuck out. So getting in this area right here is pretty solid. Also, you generally need ammo a lot as demo man. There's your ammo pack. Uh, there's also an ammo pack right there. Um, forcing bats. If they're if they're holding bats, you can do sticks like this. Uh, if if you know it is under control, or your combo comes through it, and you go through choke with scouts or something, uh, then you can just walk in underneath like this and like make sure you deny this area. Um, Sticky trap like these are really good. Uh, probably just try and get on Spire. If you have a buff and your combo is like pressing them out of the point... Oh my god, my demo jumping is so good. Um, I would probably just try and get on Spire and just start locking shit out. Like put, put two sticks there so they don't get in for free if they come that direction. And this is like priority one. Um, this is a trap that I think Platinum used a lot um, pretty effectively. Uh, that'll debt someone if a scout comes that direction or a soldier and wants to jump you. Um, Maybe like right here too is another sticky spot, just in case they flank that direction. Uh, also just right here if they start retreating lower. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good, that's actually a pretty good idea for pushing in. Well, I'm learning how to play demo right now guys, in front of your eyes. Uh, you could probably just jump in with a buff and just like do shit like this that deny them the entrance completely. And uh, if they start falling out either back left, which they probably will, um, it's really hard for the medic to get out if you jump through choke at them. Uh, they have to be... Like, if the medic's right here and you jump through choke, he's dead. Or he should be. Um, or he's going to force Uber, at least. Uh, if he's right here and you jump, then he can probably get out. Um, that's the thing we'll go over as medic. Uh, let's see. Uh, pushing last. I wouldn't... Pushing IT. Here, let's do pushing IT. Pushing sewers is pretty explanatory. You just work it, make sure there's nothing there, clear it first. And then just sticky spam once you clear that door. You can walk out the far left wall here. And just, uh, it's actually kind of a good route too. If you go sewers with your team, you can just do shit like this and they can't even shoot back at you. Um, it's a pretty good angle. Uh, if you're in IT, if your team wants to push into two from IT, um, then your medic will probably be tanking you pretty well. And you probably want to just make sure nothing spams you from this so you don't get forced right here. Because then you want to get forced, like, up here, ideally. Like, around this corner is probably where you're going to get forced at the latest against a good team. Um, that shifts their uber. Uh, but anyways, if you... As Dumbo, just try and spam them back so you don't get forced right away. Um, if your uber exchange is right here, then maybe try and just come right, come down here and protect yourself. Um, try to make sure the pocket doesn't drop on you and kill you. The metal could probably flash if he does that. Uh, but yeah, you probably want to come in, like, you can do shit like this. If there's a lot of people holding on Spire, if they hold on bats, you can just walk in right here. Um, you don't need height advantage to be super effective on this on this point. Uh, you can do really really good damage from out of out of fucking nowhere. Like I've been holding right here before, like a little lazily, like right there, and a dumb will just walk in here and sticky me off, and it's like I'm a free kip, free pick for his roamer, you know. Stop what you're saying. Oh, you said BRB. Okay. It's a, it'll be a, they'll be a vod man. They'll be a vod. Um, well, what else? What else? I think that's all the routes for pushing two. Pushing last. Uh, <clears throat> pushing last. If you come this direction, it's usually because you won the yard fight, they're respawning, and you're capping Spire. If you have a scout on cap, you don't need to be on the fucking cap. You need to be up here doing this. If you, come, if you want to come this direction at all, and if you want your team to come this direction, which is probably the quickest route into their dicks, if they're holding on the back, um, this is your job when you come through here. You need to be here as quick as possible and just deny them the left spawn. Deny them the ramp if there's something there. Like, you can spam this pretty effectively. Like, a soldier is probably better. Uh, but your your job should be spawn doors on this on this last push most of the time, I think. Um, a lot of the action where the fights take place are going to be right here, right here, or right here, and then in the same, same on the other side. Um, at the base of the ramp, the, the spawn door, or up top. Um, Around point, it's probably just like a toss-up, um, but for a, like a strong defense where your medic's like somewhere where he's not going to get killed, they're probably going to be holding like right here. So for pushing, you want to make sure you like force them into spawn, and at that point, you you know tell them to get cap time, put a sticky on there to clear sticks maybe. Um, also, if they shift, if you sticky them into spawn that way, leave those there, and then you can like walk up to point here. Uh, you can get cap time and then like deny them the other door. Uh, you can do shit like that. You're probably not going to do all this for free. This is like in a perfect world where you're not getting shot at. But this is TF2 and you'll probably get shot at. So, uh, if you're being Ubered though, 
uh, which is a pretty good point to Uber in demos. If they don't have Uber, I would probably Uber the demo in most cases, just to push them into spawn, and then I would probably have him do shit like this and get cap time, and then just bait, him, bait damage on the cap. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, pushing in from up here is pretty good. Um, it's pretty much the same drill. Uh, you can just do poke damage uh, with sniping stickies like this. Uh, you don't need to overcommit too much on demo to do a lot of damage. Uh, if you walk in with an Uber though, you can crush them pretty well. Uh, if you come in this direction, this is a pretty good spot. If you if you see a sentry or if you see four things here, you can do like roller spam and just keep peeking it with your medic on you. Um, if you know they're on the right door, like you can peek right here and do some pretty good. Oh, look at that! Oh, your bed's dead. Anyways, um, if they're holding right there, you can just walk in this direction. If you walk into the right for free, which is what we have done a few times on, um, if we have Uber and they don't, uh, if we assume holding back that direction. Uh, then you can walk in this this direction. Just try and focus them back, like push them back if they're trying to hold the point strong. Uh, spam a heavy if they have a heavy. Um, you can walk up top. Uh, I wouldn't like. I keep saying this. It's pretty good at every class. Like this top route, it's it's kind of a fun last because you can get up here on offense and defense. But like if you can get to here and they're holding up top, like now you're just crushing them, right? Also, it's like a good point to. It's a good spot to spam the point from. Uh, so if you like deny them the right spawn door and your uber your combo is uber the uh, like into a heavy or something over in that area, then you want to like uber deny the spawn door so you don't get pushed by a scout right away or something like that. And then like if once the uber's over, like I'm, I would assume it'd be like a, a uh, like a cap time fight where you're just fighting the point. Then I mean that's you know that's money for a demo. Um, that's pushing la I think that's all the pushes right. Pushing middle. They're pushing middle. If you're retaking middle. Um, if you're retaking middle, I think choke is probably your best bet. IT is too choked. Um, also, sewers is just awkward for demo. Uh, you probably always want to go choke. Um, if you think, if you think you have a huge advantage and they're down numbers, <coughs> excuse me. If you think you have a huge advantage and they're down numbers, I would consider jumping as a demo on this middle. Like, just get yourself to this area so you're not getting spammed with the rest of your team. And then you can just start denying them height advantage and pushing them out. Um, also, just bombing them. Like, once you get in, if you walk in for free with an Uber and their medic's, like, right here, and he sees you through choke, he's going to start beelining it out for their choke to get out. So another thing you can do as demo is not fuck up your jump. And, like, jump from, like, right here, like, to their rock and, like, crush them right here. This is, like, that's, like, Banny's maneuver. Or Platinum's maneuver. Platinum probably more so. Mix-up was, well, TLR now, but... That's one thing mix-ups always really good at is just crushing you when you try to leave fights. Uh, so if you like do shit like this to lock them in, or just do a million damage when they retreat, um, it's really really good. Uh, this is demo, Mangachu. Oh my god, did I still the title as demo as soldier? Sorry, fuck. Okay, I'm almost done with the. Uh... No one reminded me. When did you remind me? Was I? I'm not reading chat too much. I I just fucking. I just talk when I do these types of things, dudes, okay? I just pour my mind out onto a video screen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Someone probably Steam messaged it to me, too. <sighs> Nobody Steam messaged me. Fucking dropping the ball! Okay. I wouldn't have read it anyways. <laughs> LOL. Uh, but yeah, pushing middle. Uh, just spam them back here so you don't get pushed from that side so you can take your health kit. Uh, spam them back up top. If they start retreating, uh, try and like crush them on the choke like this. Um, that's about it. If you push in on the right, it's the same drill as the mid, pretty much. Uh, you just want to walk your spam with your medic and uh, try and make sure your scouts and your soldiers have the crates under control. Um, and just spam them back. My health is getting low, you're right. Uh, I'm going to switch to medic. That's a good point to switch to medic then. Mid, sticky traps, pushes. That's what I had. Okay. Sticky traps, uh... I think I did most of the important ones. I did all the last ones. I did some of them on two. Oh, uh, here's the gay one. All right, you want to know the gay one? It's right there. Um, I don't know how you hide it properly. I think you just put it along the wall. I don't even know. It's somewhere where, like, if your pocket, you want to. Uh, it wouldn't be right there. It's like, can you put it up from right here? I don't even know. Yeah, that's not bad. See, like, by the time you get to right here to see it, now you can dent and probably get hit by it. Yeah, see. So that's a pretty gay sticky trap. Also, if the pocket doesn't look for it, well, not not even if he doesn't look for it. Like if he's looking at that sticky trap, I'm shotting his sticky trap. Then like he's not shooting at the spire. 
we usually when you come in through choke, if the pocket and the medic walk up this direction, they're going to be shooting right here, and they're going to be shooting right there, and they're going to be worried about bats. They're not going to be, like, focused on this. So that's a pretty sneaky little trap. Um, traps, like, right here are pretty good, uh, just for, like, if you see a medic swing wide, um, then you can just dead and rape him. You called it. You called it. I was going to kill myself. Uh, and then all the last traps are pretty standard. Um, right here is usually where our demo stickies and a lot of demo sticky. Right there, right there. You can put the double trap up. Like if if you put a few up right here, and then you put like a, a like a little shitty one to like bait the other one. I'm a pocket soldier, guys. LOL. What an obvious sticky trap. I'm gonna shoddy it, and now you're dead. Right? Like I didn't do the hurt me. Fuck. But anyways. Do little multi-sticky traps like that on the last. It's a really good point for stickies. Um, right, like right here. You can put like one or two right there just to deny them that entrance. Or do a little bit of damage when they come in. Look at that one. That's a winner. Uh, this is another like third sticky trap you can do. You can do like a three layer sticky trap on this. It's like a fucking nacho dip, but it's like better because it kills people. We're going to do this before I murder myself. Uh, you can put that one up. You can put that one up. And you can put like this one up. And then you can also like... Just put one or two on the on the door, and now you can watch all four of them, right? Um, and then you can like spam rollers at lobby and do shit like this. Um, keep your ammo up for when they push in. Obviously, uh, on last fights you're gonna need to, you don't need to sticky the point right away. Um, this is one of those maps where they're not gonna get cap time for free unless your team is fucking asleep. Um, I don't I don't see how they could ever like get a sneak cap on this map. It's like the center of the room. Um, so I would make sure you sticky the entrances and not the cap, but make sure you have stickies loaded when they do start capping, because this is your job when they start capping, obviously. Um, other than that, I think that's about it for demo, for what I want to go over. Uh, let's see... Medic! I have to pee so bad, I drank a glass of water, and then I got tea, which is gone, and then I have a glass of water, which is half gone. So I'm gonna go pee, I'll BRB, and then we'll do Medic. Oh my goodness, that was like an emergency. Jesus. I was peeing that whole time. I think you can still hear my toilet going. Yep. I was just peeing for from from when I got up. My, my toilet's like 10 feet away, right? No, I don't play TF2 in the bathroom. It's a little further. Didn't I change it to Medic? I already changed it, right? Fuck you, Hein. I already changed it. Isn't it changed? God damn it, Hein. Now he's fucking just trolling. <clears throat> alright, 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 alright. Uh, medic. Um, I will... What did I want to do? Heal rollout. Uh, we will watch a demo of mine. Um, so we will learn the heal rollout then. Uh, it's, um... It's a, it's kind of a tricky one, I guess, because if you get a shitty spawn in the back row, then you, then you can lose the beam on your demo. Uh, so if you're, like, I don't know, make your demo aware of your spawn. And make sure he's not jumping all the way to the wall. Make sure he's like jumping to right here so you can stay on him. Um, if your soldier wants the gunboats, tap him before, like, 
tap your demo and then tap tap your gunboater. Really, I, I actually tap the gunboater first on the on the gunboat rollouts that we try. Um, tap your gunboat, sir, so he keeps his crit buff. Um, and then tap your demo before they both jump. Uh, it's kind of a lot of really really quick uh, healing you have to do. And then uh, right here is where you're gonna stay on your demo till till he jumps away, which is usually about right at the door, right here. Um, and you're on your roamer for a second. And then I'm on scouts from about right here until right here. And then right here is where I usually lose the scouts and I have to just heal the roamer until we get to yard. And then we always go choke. Uh, maybe IT once or twice. I don't know. I don't know if probably that kind of flops. Um, but uh, then you pick up your, your pocket right about here. Make sure you get him 300 first because he's not the one that's gunboating. Um, he needs the 300 to be effective, I think. Uh, so get your pocket 300, and then turn around and try and get your roamer as well. Um, try to make sure you heal them. And then uh, once you get to middle, look for your demo. Um, I have this little handy bind, which you can't tell right now. But it's like a medic radar bind thing that's in my config. It's like a, you hit tab and it changes everyone's auto heal percentage to like a million. So it shows where your scouts and your demo are through walls. It's pretty pretty baller. And anyways, you um, you want to push up and try and hook up with your demo, who is probably on the left health kit right here. In which case, if he is, then I'd probably get him first, get him like a little tap, um, and then also try and get the uh, scouts, which if they're either up top here or like right here or on the ground. <coughs> you mm. If you push up left aggressively, like if I have a soldier up here, uh, you, like Lang. If he's right there, I'm going to heal him um, from right here. It's a pretty safe position. Like, I can see if anything's flanking me from over there. I can fall out to here if I'm, like, immediately threatened. Um, even though that might lock me out of the fight, but I would assume my team would deal with it. Uh, and then if they don't, I can just run. Uh, if, uh, if we're pushed up left here, though, I would try to heal scouts, which are usually, like, in this area or up here or right here. Um, I try and just make sure when I get to middle, I heal scouts as much as possible. And I try to get to my demo. And then soldiers when I need to be defended. So like if I'm right here healing a demo and there's like a scout and a roamer pushing me and the demo is already buffed and I see my pockets up top but he's already taken a bunch of damage. Then I start healing him and calling the flanks and just trying to stay alive. And uh, he tries to kill the things that are pushing us. Uh, once again you can't script middles too much. But uh, the other way we usually go is to the right. Um... And if I go to the right, I would love to have a scout right here, like every time, as a medic. Um, you can just give him the flyby buff either on the rock or right here. Um, I think usually on some of our right strats where we went to mid, uh, Justin was here and I'd tap him. And then he would jump away left or up here. And then Seagull would sit right here and I would tap him. He wouldn't sit right here. Like what you want to be doing as a scout if you're up in this area is just pot shotting the other scouts. Um, maybe shooting the demo, pistoling him. Uh, be ready to shoot a roamer if he comes flying in. Um, but as medic, you want to like sit right here, uh, get him a buff, and if your demo's pushing up this direction, get on him right away. Because if the demo's right here, that means he skipped his health pack, so he only got the pill, and he's probably also taking pressure from their demo if their demo got to his pack. Um, but if he's up here holding aggressively, if he went here quickly, then um, then you need to get on the uh, then you need to get on the demo so he can keep pushing. Because if you get to get on the demo with a 260 and like. If you push them up here with stickies, like you're going to deny them this entire area. You're going to push them out of choke if they don't fall back to the left. Or if they don't rotate away from the demo. Um, so you want to prioritize the demo right here. Uh, your pocket should probably be in an area like right here if you push up to the right. Uh, so try and get on him as well. You, a nice thing about this middle is you don't have to commit entirely to fights um, to be effective. Like your demo can be right here doing a million damage and your pocket can be right here. Meanwhile, you can be right here, which is pretty safe. Like you're not going to get spammed. Um, it's really, really hard for them to get angles on you. Uh, a really good demo could. And then a scout flying from right here is usually what is, like, the most dangerous to me. And then a roamer flying in. But at that point, you want to, like, just, you know, you got plenty of room to, to dodge him or to surf. You can surf up to there. You can surf up top. You can surf up there. Or you can just duck out sewers. If you don't overcommit, if I, if I heal my scout right here and I already hear a roamer flying in or see him jumping from health kit at me, I might just do shit like this and just try and uh, have my uh, demo in pocket turn around and just shoot one projectile out of each and kill him and then come back out um, but there's a lot of room to just try to dodge if you come right or if you come left um, I would focus more on healing scouts healing your demo and just dodging on this middle as a medic um, 
If you, uh, is it possible to go on that roof not using the overdose? Right here? Yeah. You don't need the overdose. I'm not, here, I'm uber selling. Are you talking about this roof right here? I don't think so. I don't think you can. It's not really, uh, applicable. Uh, getting up here, though, is pretty useful. If you're holding middle, and, you like, you can sit up here as medic and just tank your demo, or you're in your pocket with height advantage, and you can just drop off and get out if they start pushing, and you can see everything. Um, that's one thing I don't like about Medic, is if you're sitting right here, like, I can see that my pocket and demo are, like, healed, but I don't know how much damage they're doing, and I don't know where their team is. So I can't see shit, right? So I'm, a, I'm trusting that a scout or someone is covering this, but if, it, if they're not, then I can just get fucked from, like, a scout right there. Um, so be cautious, like, if you're healing your pocket, you don't need to stare at him right there, because he's fine. I would look this way, and I would be listening for a roamer to come in from this direction, like, from the health kit. Um, what else? If the mid's going well and you see them dropping people, if they drop two or three right away, then then start pushing up with your demo in your rear pocket. Try and get on their side of middle and get heals to the people being aggressive, and see if you can get a maybe get um, get two or three as they're falling out of middle, and then try and uh, I don't know, steamroll that into a into a last push with Uber or something like that. Um, let's see for sewers. I, I mean like. Don't overcommit to sewers too soon. Don't play too close to your pocket. Give them plenty of room. Like, if I he if we call sewer push or something like that, like, I would assume someone's watching that, obviously. And then if I'm healing my pocket, I would stay back. Like, if, if there's a roamer right here, then if I'm hugging my pocket as I come through the door, he could still force me if he threads the needle and gets a rocket on me or something. And, uh, anyways, if I go through sewers, I usually like to go this way. Just to, like, I don't know, take the wide route. Check that so you don't get gayed. I mean, if you check in and there's something there, you're probably going to get anyways, but maybe you won't. Um, also, as pocket, that's kind of your job. Um, there's a health kit if you need it. Uh, coming this way is probably the safest option. If you open this, a lot of times what you can get fucked by is a sniper on battlements, or like right there. Uh, also, stickies. This is stickied way more often than this is. Uh, it's hard for demos to get a sticky trap up here and get to a safe position to hold two from. If he's up here sticking a trap, then a scout should be pouncing on him anyways, or a roamer. And then he should probably have to either dead or defend himself with stickies. Um, but he can sit up here on Spire and put two sticks on that door. So don't peek that door too aggressively. Um, make sure your uh, your pocket clears it first. You guys are going fucking Siglemic chat, I love it. Um, what else? <clears throat> if you go through choke or sewers, uh, try and just get in this general area. Try and heal your scouts on the push. Um, if you uber in, um, you're probably going to want to have to jump their spire with it, or push your demo in this direction with it. And at that point, you want to just try and keep people healed on spire so they're not dying to demo spam. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, just try and try and get a get a general good read of like how the fight's going. Like, if, you, if you're dropping people and you're not killing anything, then don't commit to this ramp. I would probably stay to this yard until I see... Like, if, if people die, I'm not going to go up the ramp. I'm going to stay here, and then as soon as the Uber's over, I'm going to try falling out of choke. Um, if we get a pick or something, or if we get in for... If we get in without popping to, like, right here, then we're definitely going to use the Uber and get into this area back here. And at that point, they should either be in lobby... Or it's like an Uber exchange right here, but we still have pretty good position because I'm Ubered right here with like the demo on Spire, and I have scouts behind me and shit like that. Um, it's it's kind of when you you want to like uh, try and gauge the fight like ASAP. Like as soon as you pop, like once you get to like 60 or 70, once you do your first flash, start looking around and like see if there's anything flank and choke. Glance at battle misses, see if there's a roamer just creep in there or something. Take a look under IT, and then like look at this area. If they're falling out to last, then you can play strong and get heals on your scouts and try and get some more picks aggressively. Um, if you're uh, if you if you're not sure how the fight's going, then I would just tank your demo in your pocket and just be ready to dodge. You're probably gonna have to like fight for your life at the end of the Uber. <coughs> mm. I don't like going up this direction. Just because there's like sticky trap spots, um, and then also just this wall. You can get shot along the wall with rockets and get forced. Um, also, it's just really awkward. There's no room to dodge. Like, if you come in here, your you're projectile bait. If you're on this bridge, like, you have to drop off to dodge anything. Um, also, uh, if, you, if you come this direction, I would, like, Uber into them and just drop down and push the Uber this way. Or, like... I don't know, get to the Spire ASAP and just stand right here and try and just get a beat on how the fight's going. Uh, 
let's see. If you go through IT, uh, try to, again, like, tank your demo in your pocket. Try and get him to spam back this area so they, so you don't get forced right here. If you can get to right here without getting forced, then that's really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Usually when we push this direction, this is about where I have to pop. Um, usually we get about right through here. And right here, you're either going to get popped by a sticky trap, or if they have Uber, they're going to be right here, and they'll force you right here as well. Um, so right here is about usually where I have to pop. And at that point, I try to get eyes on shit just because, I mean, I, like, I trust Lang, but I like to see shit so I can, like, call if it's a good Uber or a bad Uber. And also just being here so I can, like, take my demo in as well. Like, if, 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 if I'm up here, like, blocking this entrance, my demo can come in behind us. The scout can come in behind us. I can flash him through here to the spire or something like that. Um, if we push them back, if they're right here, if we push them back and come through IT, at the end of the Uber, I would probably come this way. I would probably come this way and try to get to the scouts which I would assume would be like here, here, or like with me on Spire, maybe if it's aggressive fight. Um, if our demo didn't come with this, maybe he's coming through Choke as well. Uh, just in general, at the end of the Uber, you want to, with the, about the last 40% of your all your Ubers, you want to start considering how you're going to escape. Um, so yeah, that's just a general rule of thumb for Medic, like use the last half of it to escape. If you're down at like 10% Uber and you're right here and you're like, Oh, I need to get out. It's too late. You're gonna die. Like you, you need like 40% here, but you need two or three seconds to get to right here, to where you can like surf a rocket to escape to middle if they're really chasing you. But also, you should probably be hooking up with your roamer, with your scouts, with your demo, with someone at the end of the Uber, and always communicate it too. When you're coming through IT, if you pop right here, you say we Ubered, they forced as well, or something like that, and then um. Just say like it's a good Uber come in, or it's a shitty Uber, or if you if Lang got dead by a sticky trap here, and I got forced anyways, I would probably try and just run through this way and meet my demo and just say it's a shitty Uber get out, and then I'd fall back to choke and heal my demo or heal scouts. Um, <clears throat> that's the IT push. Uh, for pushing last, again, I hate fucking going this way unless we have full Uber and they're like wiped. It it's like the quickest way in to lock them into spawn. But it's also, like, the most dangerous if the demo is up and, like, a soldier. Even if a soldier's here... I remember, like, we played hard blue... We played against Mixup um, on the Ducks. We did a lot of scrims against them. And it was, like, only hard blue up at one point. And we, like, tried to walk through here with, like, two or three of us. And he just put two rockets on, like... I think he just did three rockets with it before he died. And he killed me with two of them. And I think he killed the demo with them. I don't even know what happened, but... It's like a choke that's like a death trap. Um, there's a lot of little gay spots you can... Like, if they're holding, it's projectile bait. Uh, pushing up here is not too bad. There's a lot of sticky traps you got to look for. Um, make sure your pocket's checking them. If your pocket's not, then, like, you should be checking them and just debt or just Uber right away. If you um, if you think there's a sticky trap there or if you're not sure and you just don't want to drop, uh, it's better to just pop early. Because if, even if you pop right here, you can still flash people to get up behind them. And you can flash people into them, do damage, and force them to spawn. And uh, especially if, if they don't have Uber, then it's not too bad to pop early. Um, just get, get people into their faces at full health instead of um, instead of dropping them to Sticky Trap and shit like that. It's so hard to talk for this long. God. Um, right here, there's a lot of little Sticky Traps to check if you go this direction. Uh, right here's another big one they always try. Uh... Just like right here as well, like you can hide them like right there on the lip, and then like as medic I would probably come in like right here so it might kill me. Um, right here as well if they're pushing aggressively, like watch for a sticky trap right there. The safest route I'd like to try is like shit that avoids all that clipping, so I usually like go this way and just make sure no one's like, make sure there's no trap there that no one missed. Um, anyways, if you're rushing in, uh, I like to work lobby as well um, if I have an Uber, um, especially if they have it, so uh, you can. I don't know, you can make the you can make the decision later. You don't have to commit to bottom left right away. You can like get to lobby and now you have three options, right? And you can even rotate this way pretty quickly. Um, if they're holding back right, maybe then you can rotate all the way to the left and go in that direction. Uh, but you can come in here and just tank your pocket to get some intel. Watch this sniper angle right here. It's like the the kill zone where I usually get domed. I always say check sniper if uh, if I'm healing a pocket through here and he just says you're clear, come through or whatever, and then we go through this way. And then we Uber or whatever. Um, also, just pushing, getting scouts buffed in this area. Like usually, you have a scout or a roamer just peeking this. Um, and then if you if you think you're going to Uber in this entrance, like make sure you just tap your scouts quickly, or like as quick as you can, and then get back on your pocket and Uber through the chokes. And then 
be conscious of like where your scouts are going to be. If you tapped them and you see a scout go this way as you're buffing him, then at the end of the Uber, there's probably going to be a fucking scout over on this side of the point. Uh, so that's like a pretty decent spot to fall back to. <coughs> If you're going over strats, having another person sometimes can tangle the point. Oh yeah, no, if it, if I have a co-caster or whatever. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, but it would have helped with the demo shit. Like, I could have brought Brad in to talk demo. Or Zebran for Romer, he would have known a little bit more about it. Um, but anyways, um, Ubering into last. I think that's all the entrances. Uh, it's a pretty good crits point. If you die on two or mid, and they wipe and maybe switch crits, it's a pretty good crits angle if you just tank your demo. You can crits out here, crits right there. Um... Another good thing to consider is uh, if um, if you're going to crits or do shit like that where you're not committing to the choke, but you just want to spam them, then if they're holding on the right, it might be better to have your pocket just chill right here and your demo can spam out this entrance, because um, he's not going to take as much pressure. Um, they're going to be looking at the pocket, and nothing is going to push through your pocket if he's standing right there. And if you're sitting right here, like, healing a, healing a demo, he can be doing a ton of damage with rollers, and your pocket's going to be chilling right here. Uh, so that's not, a, not such a bad position either. Um, this health kit's pretty pretty much golden. Um, I usually try to grab that a sec the second we come into lobby. Um, if you're running from scouts after a last push, uh, you can come in lower. Uh, maybe grab the kit if you run out this way. If you grab the kit though, you might be you might be fucked. Like it's it's kind of like a delay of two seconds or so to start running. Um, but you want to just needle through the chokes here, um, do shit like that, and then maybe you can run it to middle if you need to. Uh, otherwise, just Communicate with your team where your spawns are, so you don't die after the, uh, after the last push. Uh, any strats involving that room on top of last for medic? Um, for, uh, <coughs> for pushing, um, kind of. If you, it depends how good your uber is. Uh, if I, if I get all the way here without popping, then I'm assuming it's gonna be like a balls deep uber where I uber lang, and uh, Siegel and maybe Brad or someone, and uh, we just damn it, do a million damage right here and then force point. Um, if it's kind of a shitty Uber where I pop early, it's something I might consider. Like, if we get forced right here and they're holding on the right, um, then maybe if it's like an Uber versus Uber fight right here, if they start backing the spawn or if they back away from us a little bit, then maybe I, I would start working up this way just to be able to, like, have options if I get pushed by a scout or something. I can, like, go up top and, like, do shit like this. Um, also, I, um... I know it's like a pretty good positioning if you can heal your demo or your pocket up here. It's a pretty good height advantage position to fight from. The the problem about coming up here is you're like committed to the fight. Um, you can't escape if the fight goes south. <clears throat> I'm talking a lot. My throat's starting to hurt. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to go over? Medic, Uber roll, heal roll out, Uber's holding positions. Um, for holding last, for holding last, this is not bad. Um, you can fall into spawn and rotate out the other side if you need to. If they come far right, then I would start moving up to this direction from right there. That's probably like where I would default to, um, just to build and shit. If I see that, like, just to deny them this with my demo in my pocket, if I see them working lobby, like, you can watch this yourself, and if you see them crossing, then I would start shading this direction. And if they push in far right, just move up, keep moving away from them, and try and milk and get more uber charge. Uh, maybe you can get a charge up before they uber into you and kill you. Um... Also, there's more room to just dodge. Like, you can go up top inside if you need to. Uh, where else? You can just hold up here. Holding right here along the wall is pretty solid. Um, if your demo has this stickied, then just tanking your pocket right here is really good because you can spam this. No one's going to come in there. And then you can just spam that and call that if anything is pushing that way. Uh, Don't Stand is actually the shittiest team name in history. I cannot believe you guys are actually typing that. Someone ban that guy. Don't ban him. Um, holding up top's not bad. If you're holding right here and they push in bottom right into you, then you can just rotate to the other side. And uh, usually there's like a heavy or something right here that can heal. Um, so that's not bad. Uh, what else? I died at roamers a lot right here. Um, Hard blue especially will just uh, come in late and commit to me and kill me if I try to dodge too much from the Uber. Um, he's pretty smart about that. Uh, let's do holding on two. Uh... Holding right here is pretty good. There's a pill. One thing you gotta look out for if there's a roamer that flies in and just puts rockets on you, um, your pocket really has to, t to kill him, or you have to dodge back this way. If you s get stuck on the pill right here, then you're like sticky bait. Like if a demo gets pushed up on bats, he can kill you, he can trap you in there. 
Um, if a Romer bombs you or gets behind your, jumps in behind your pocket or something, it can kill you. Um, so this is okay, but don't overcommit to it. Um, kind of try and tank your demo right here. He can usually do a bunch of damage on a spire fight, on a spire defense, or a spam choke and shit like that. Um, this is okay. Um, if you come right here, then, like, this is a point I should just, like, do a medic review session about, like, where to hold, like, three feet, like, can make all the difference. Like, if you're right here, then a roamer can come in and bomb you. If you're right here, he can't bomb you as, as easily. Like, if you're right here, I can still heal people that are right here, um, but the roamer can't shoot me as easily. I can still dodge. Um, another point, like, if I'm... If I'm holding right here and they uber and choke and I have a 95 uber, they can still kill me. If I'm right here and they uber and choke, I can back up and get my 5% and get it. Um, the other thing I was talking about earlier when I was on demo, if I'm holding right here healing people and the demo jumps in, I'm dead. Or if a roamer jumps in and cuts me off, I'm dead. If I'm holding right here though, then I can see if the roamer or demo's coming in and also just I can communicate it. And no matter what jumps me, if I'm full health, I should be able to get back in here without dying. Um, the difference between holding here and holding here is that this is an aggressive hold and you either think you guys have a chance to uh, to hold chokes and uh, fight Spire and win it or if you think they have numbers and it's just a few of you and you're trying to get them just uber force on choke then I would start uh, thinking about holding back here because you're going to need to get out when they once they uber in. Um, <coughs> where else? If you have an uber, then I think just holding in this area is probably best. Um, you can have your pocket or your demo or someone or your roamer just watching this and denying them this. Uh, for free anyways. And if they comment, then you want to just move your pocket and your demo and try and force them or get the uber fight right here. Um, uh, if, uh, if you're right here and you have uber and they come choke, then you can just go around the corner into them and uh, exchange ubers on choke instead of having it done on spire, which is better for your team. You can lock more of them out. If you, excuse me, if you flash your pocket and he uh, gets ubered right here, then um, he can do shit like jumping up here, not fucking up, he can jump up here and start getting picks here, like doing damage to sh shit that's not ubered. Um, uh, what else, what else, where, where else would I hold on to? Uh, if I have an uber, another spot I could just hold is like right here, I could just be chilling right here, healing my demo. Um, holding strong on the choke. Uh, I'd have a pocket right above me probably, maybe a scout or two, uh, maybe a sniper or something if we're being fancy. Um, holding middle, uh, you probably just are, you're probably gonna default to this area right here. It's hard for them to get an angle to spam you without committing. Like if they're right here, they're gonna be eating demo spam and pocket spam, or they should be. So right here is the safest. The difference is if you're right here, then they can spam you from right here without committing to the choke. Like, the demo can lob shit at you. Um, but if he's over here, then he's, like, more exposed, right? Uh, so I would probably default to, like, right here most of the time. A uh, roamer can't bomb me too easily, um, without getting, like, air shot or sticky debt when he lands, I guess. Or just mulched by scouts. It's a hard choke to bomb through for roamers. Um, uh, right here is probably where I would default to holding. Uh, maybe right here. Uh right here on the rock if I'm just tanking my pocket and he's just watching the choke. Um, the other spot you gotta look out for, if you don't have uber, then you have to be cautious of this. If they sneak in behind you and no one calls it, you're fucked if they come out and uber on you, right? So, if you think they might come IT, then you need to be here at least. And as soon as someone spots them IT, you need to be gone. You need to either go through your IT or go through choke. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? This is not bad. Right here is okay. Um, if you're, if you're holding more passively and you're like 80% uber and you think they have and they're going to come in, then you can just sit here and heal your demo in your pocket, deny them sewers, and still force them at choke with spam, and you probably have like a buff aroma right here to bomb them when they come in, and also scouts would be on the, like, the right side. Uh, just in general this area, like, that's another thing on middle, if I'm right here when they uber in through choke, I, I'm probably dead, if, unless I hit a surf, or unless someone gets air shot. Um, if I'm right here when they uber in through choke, I can run. Like, that's the difference. Like, it's, it's a, it's a very minuscule thing, but it's so important on medic. Uh, granary, it's, it's a super important thing to learn on granary, where you can stand and still get out, um, of the points and get out of yards. Um, 
but it's the thing you just have to learn, uh, like where you can escape with. And like the better your surfing and dodging is, the 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 more aggressive you can hold. Like you can hold here without Uber, but if they Uber on you, you're probably gonna have to hit surf a rocket up top or surf out of here, or just I don't know, just do really amazing dodging and hope they flop on their shots. Um, but uh, that's kind of like when the surfing and shit comes into comes into play is when you're out of position. If you're in good position, you shouldn't have to surf too much. Uh, maybe the the solo roamer bombs are where you would surf in those cases. But uh, in general, if you're right here, you can get out if they come in. But if you're up there on the other side of the point, they might they'll probably kill you if they're not bad. Uh, so holding mid, that's where I would probably go. Up top is another spot you can hold um, if you're holding aggressive on the right. Like if you have sni if you have a sniper, you know this is where he's gonna be. So tanking him's not that bad of an option. Um, getting up here is not too bad. Be cautious of like getting domed if you're holding up top. Um, also, this is a pretty good sniper angle. If I didn't go over that. Uh, if you guys are on sniper, like you can come up top here and snipe all the way to their stairs at the back of the point. Um, but my I, I can sit here and heal my demo in my pocket, and uh, if I'm like right here, and then I can just back out sewers and choke if they come in. Uh, but that's holds for middle. I think that's about it. I don't know what else I have to go over for medic. Any um, mid's another good crits point. I think it's a it's a really long point to to cover with Uber. So if you get forced at the choke, um, if you think you're gonna get forced at the choke, then it might be good to try crits anyways. Um, just get that crit sticky on the medic or crit sticky and get a few picks and get mid for free. Not for free, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Any questions for Medic or whatever? I already did Scout. Um, there'll be a VOD of this, and I'll probably put it up on YouTube. I'll probably edit the sections, because it's pretty long. <coughs> Last classes, I did that a little bit. I did Heavy and uh, Quick Fix strats. I don't think so. Um, quick Fix is never going to be super viable. Maybe like a gimmick where you run with your Scouts, and then you have like two equalizing soldiers and then you jump up top with them. I don't know, but I would never do I would never do it. Um It's a, it's got to be Uber crits these days, I think. I don't think anyone's going to make quick fix super viable until it's able to buff people. Uh what else? What else? If mid is going badly, how do you recommend retreats? It depends on the positioning. If we're aggressive on the left like right here and let's say I'm healing my demo and a scout and like we lose everything on the right. Like, if Zebrine goes down over there, my roamer, and, like, if we lose both scouts or something, then I'm going to start thinking about if I'm right here, I'd probably go IT. Because if I start running this way, then I'd probably get jumped by, like, th two things, uh, depending on what they have up. Um, if I'm holding on the right, uh, if, I, if we're aggressive on the right and the fight goes south, then you might have to fall out sewers, same drill. But things to consider is you need you can't dawdle you can't like grab the pack and go like this way because they're just gonna come through and cut you off and choke you need to if you no matter which way you go you just need to book it to last and get to your respawns um, this is usually where you want to get to before you start needling um, maybe like right here you can needle through choke but if you get up to bats at least you can do shit like this and the scouts are it's harder for scouts to chase you um, also just through bats uh, it's much easier to needle right here than it is to needle if you're down on the ground um, but also down on the ground is uh, a <coughs> <coughs> God, my throat's so dry. I need more water. Beer be. Uh, if your medic drops, should your team focus their attention on dropping their medic ASAP, like on Granary? Kind of. It's not, it's, the thing about process is it's like, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. If you're the demo, maybe not. Maybe just work on a sticky trap. Uh, if you're the roamer, maybe just hide and try and force them. But if you still have like four or five people up and your medic goes down to a roamer, then yeah, the medic needs to call that and, uh, uh, you need to kill the medic um, at that point to make sure the round's not a roll. If you kill the medic, then you can at least defend two with spawns. 
um, and also just defend last with Uber um, once you build. But if you if you go down and their medic lives, then it's like one of the situations where the team should just be moving and uh, using the Uber into last after they cap two. <clears throat> so I'd say it's 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 important to kill the medic if your medic goes down, yeah. Or at least forces Uber somehow. It's situational though. If it, if it, if you go down early, then that's a priority, yeah. Because then the fight will probably go south, and uh, well, maybe not, not necessarily. If uh, there's a lot of mids where you just trade meds, and the team with the better heals or buffs and better DM during the fight and focus fires will win. Um, but you need to you need to at least trade meds if your med goes down. I think you can't always do that though. It's, it's team two. Uh, when should I take my needles out? When should I just walk away and play it safe? Um, elaborate. Like, when do you needle to, to run, you mean? Um, or when you're healing people? Like, uh, usually I take, I only take needles out. I usually overdose now just to retreat from middles. Crossbow's fun, and I think it's viable on this map. It's, like, kind of long in several spots. You can get, like, the clutch damage or clutch heals. But, um, it's still a mid where you might need to run occasionally. And I think needles are still pretty good in a few spots pretty choked up here, um, and Overdose is just nice for escaping middles when you fuck up. Uh, so that's when I would use the needles. Retreating from middles, retreating from fights that fail, pushes that fail. How much do you split Uber when Ubering into mid against a retreating team? Um, if we get forced right here, I would probably be forced on my pocket, who would then, I would assume, jump there or jump there or wherever, and then I would probably turn around to flash my demo. If they're retreating, then I want the demo to jump them, right? Like, if they're running away, the demo is the one that has the best chance to seal them in and do damage and get kills. Um, if it's... If we're getting actively spammed, and there's, like, a demo that's, like, selling out to get the medic out or something like that, um, I would probably try and flash a scout just so he doesn't die to spam or stickies or something. Uh, it just depends. I think, generally, if they're retreating, I would flash a demo and have him jump. And have him jump on one of the crates or the rock or something. And then my roamer maybe too. If I'm trying to get people into them and jump, like flying at them, flash your, flash your jumpers. Tell them to jump. <coughs> when a medic comes down, does a pocket automatically switch into roamer, and bomb them? He should. It, it depends on the fight and the positioning. If he's gonna have to give up like his, if he if he's like, 60 health and across a yard, like he probably is not gonna kill that medic. So maybe it's better for him to just retreat into battlements and try and, uh, I don't know, try, try and gather health and then force them later. Um, you don't you don't necessarily have to exchange medics every time as long as you force the uber to reset the advantages, you know? Um, also, if that means just going back to last and building when your med spawns, then just do that. Like, it, it's, it's situational. It's not like a yes or no thing, but on middles... Uh, this is a huge middle. If your medic goes down here and you're right here and their medic is at their fucking choke, you're probably not going to get to him without some work. I would try and keep DMing, keep killing other classes, and then later in the fight, if you can get closer to the medic, then maybe try and jump him from like right here or something. Uh, but don't automatically just tunnel vision the medic when your med goes down. A lot of times a uh, roamer will just kill him and you can you just need to try and win the fight um, before you uh, like before the uh, before you consider trading meds. Like, if you kill everything but their med, their med could still escape. Uh, you could win the middle, but then you'll have to charge Uber for the next point and they'll push you back in the mid. It's, it's just super situational. Uh, when someone gets in my face, do I needle or back up and keep healing dodging? Yeah, that, that's also situational. If, um, if it's just... If you're pocketing your demo and he's got... Consider your health of the person you're healing. If if he's it's if it's a one v one and he's pretty healthy and he pipes him, I would probably start needling. Because um, if 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 I see a scout take a hundred, um, I don't know what his buff was before that. But if I see a scout that's not buff take a hundred, and like if I if my demo is you know two hundred health because he's like partially buffed, then I'm gonna start trying to needle and just do that last twenty damage with him. Uh, what else? If it's your if it's your pocket. He can do a lot if you just keep healing him. Um, he can defend you really well. Yeah, consider his ammo, though. If he says he's out of rockets or something, or if he's if he just shot all four and then and then, and then another scout pounces you, then you might need to uh, start needling. Um, it's also about positioning, too. 
Um, like if I'm fighting in sewers here, or if I'm fighting right here, like, uh, yeah, if I'm right here and a scout pushes me, like say we're fighting on the right on middle and a scout pushes me from right there, if I fall into here with my pocket and start healing him, I'm just gonna straight strafe like shit while I dodge the scout while the, um, while the, uh, pocket, like, shoots this choke and tries to kill the scout, right? Like, it, it, it's, it's also a situational, like, uh, it's a judgment call you gotta make pretty quick, but, uh, Generally, I would try to just trust them to, to do more damage. Um, your demo may need help in some cases. Also, your scout, if he used his whole scatter clip and he comes to you to try to defend you, um, maybe it'd be better off to needle. Um, yeah, consider the health of the person, though. If they're already buffed and you're being pressured, maybe just fucking defend yourself, though. If you have more than one person to heal, maybe just try and, uh... Wait, what? Unmute and mumble? What? God, I thought my mic was muted this whole time. What a fucking shit. Time out, guys. It's big important news for Bradford. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm doing chat questions now. My throat's, like, gone. You wanna help me out? I got, um, you have four and a half minutes from me. Before I have to oh. go to a Christmas party. Woo! Why did I unmute? I have to talk to you now. I've been talking to these guys for two hours. Well, I'll 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 take five minutes of uh, Ooh, I'll answer some of the stuff. I've, I've been casually listening. You've been going over the same map for an hour, hour and thirty minutes. Two hours. Two hours. Yep. Zen. I did like every class. Yep, I'm going hard. Hopefully, Zen people is seem to be this. enjoying it. The big big arc out there. Who else do they have? And they have Mousy arc. Who else do they have? Lansky's here. No, Dear two God. Hours. Two hours, ten minutes. Little Lansky, we're teaching the enemy how to play TF2. Nah, Lansky knows. <coughs> so when a soldier is chasing you and your back is turned, how do you time surfing the rocket, or do you just spam crouch jump? Mmm. You can spam crouch jump, or you can keep flicking behind you based on what you hear. You know, yep, uh, use sound. If yeah. you hear him jump, which you should, then just kind of time it. Like, it, like soldiers generally bomb in a similar manner, and like you can. He usually fires his first rocket at you at like the top of his arc or when he starts descending on you, right? So just listen for that, and when you hear that, then you want to jump, and that'll probably launch you when the rocket hits you. The it depends thing, on how good the person is, too. That's true, too, but. yeah. A lot of the roamers in Invite, um, they're onto our tricks as scheming medics, right, Brad? And mm -hmm. they will just wait until you jump, and then after you jump, then they just shoot you in the face, like, or in front of you, and just juggle you straight up, and you look like a retard. It happens. The best soldier at that is actually TLR. TLR, TLR does it like every shoot time. At your head. Yep, yeah. he just headshots you with rockets. Uh, yeah. Um, who else? Or what else? What else? What else? What was I gonna say about that? Oh, if you, if if someone calls like a like we have a call that's like a panic call, I guess, where if like if a rumor's coming in or a scout's flanking, um, like someone will start shouting on you or whatever, and then we just assume that means the soldier is on me. And so I would start jumping at that point and hoping to get a lucky surf, I guess. Because I don't know where he's coming from. Yeah, maximize the amount of time that you're going to be alive. or yeah. Yeah. Stay off the ground so you're not like... The, the, the jumper's a good TF2, call too. The best way to kill a specific class is to inflict maximum damage in one shot. So like, you know, if you're a scout going into someone else, if you hit a meat shot on almost any class... You've now put it at a health, put the enemy at a health where it's manageable for you to kill him. It's the same thing with the soldier jumping on a medic. You, a medic jumps on a, or a soldier jumps on a medic, and you hit like a 90 damage or a 100 damage rocket. You know you're gonna get the med versus getting like 60, 60, and then like 60, and he's still still alive. So what Sean's talking about, he just he doesn't want to get hit for a lot of damage. Like he wants to stay alive and. Generally speaking, a medic's never at 150. Like, you're probably, let's say you're at like 110 health, so, you know, 255 damage rockets and you're essentially dead. Yeah. Um, this is actually a good point they're bringing up is that to using the overdose on mid rollouts and then during transition play, use crossbow since it's like so powerful for healing people. I think you can definitely play around with uh, going from, from back and forth. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Sorry, hey. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, let me see if there's any 
questions in the thread that I posted. Advice for rollout if your demo or soldiers are slow to mid. Um, if either your demo or soldier is slow to mid, you can't play middle like you have a fast demo or a fast soldier. You have to play it knowing that the other team has a good uh, position on mid. You know the other demo is going to be in a position to hit you with damage, and you really need to play as a uh, play as a team and choose the side you're going to uh, fight against, and either have your demo man work on his rollouts over and over, or you know just pick a side and play for each other. I mean, it's the same on every single middle in TF2. As long as you're coordinating and shooting at the same people, you'll you'll generally do good things with your team. Should we join a server and have you bomb me? And we can demonstrate surfing a little bit. Yeah, maybe. two minutes, Sean. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, the the guy asked, what's the advantage of TLR headshotting? But it's basically like, if a soldier bombs you, um, if he sh generally soldiers, they shoot the feet. They try, like, maybe sometimes, like, the really good ones will go for the directs, but they'll probably try and shoot your feet to just be efficient with their damage and not miss, right? So they're probably going to shoot near your feet, which means that you can just jump and crouch and surf the rocket away from them pretty well. And then it's much, much harder for them to hit that second rocket on you that's the killer rocket, right? So yeah. what what good soldiers will do is they'll jump, and then instead of firing at predictable times like a lot of soldiers would do, is they'll just delay their shot until they're on their, like right on you. Like Sometimes they won't even shoot until they're like right next to you and they just do the 100 damage direct. Um... <laughs> That's so annoying when terrible. you're like crouch spamming. That's pretty terrible, they but they always fire. they also get mulched when they do that. Like sometimes they don't even get the second rocket off because they just take a pocket rocket and a scout shot or whatever. That rhymes. Oh my god, pocket rocket. Uh, but yeah, if also if you just get hit direct with it, or if you just if you wait till the medic lands from his jump, or if he's already jumped, then you can shoot underneath him and he just juggles him. Um, juggling is different than surfing. If you juggle him straight up in the air, he's just dead. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Is there a really big disadvantage? Is there a really big disadvantage to surfing backwards? Uh, no. It's probably uh, better. It's easier to predict the rocket. Like if I'm watching the roamer, I just like stare into his eyes as he flies at me, and then once he shoots, then I can just crouch jump later, and it still launches you pretty well because it's like an actual rocket jump. Um, if you look away from him, you can just start doing strafe jumps like this, and eventually he's gonna hit you, and he'll probably get launched a little bit at least. Uh, if he hits you at a shitty time, then you may not get launched at all. Or if he hits in front of you, you might get launched straight up, which is kind of shitty. Uh, so if it's it's however you feel like you can escape, ideally. Like, yeah, if you want to just look at him and just pred and like watch the rocket, if you want to listen for it, if uh, if you think you know he's just gonna shoot when he's at the top of his jump, then you probably don't need to look at him. Boom! 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 Uh, I think rockets on middle. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. like if you're, if you're talking about just medic, dude. Like, I think through through the entire season as medic that I don't tell anyone. I have like a range of like who I think is good and how much respect I give them. And there's like a couple categories, and it's like uh, Romer jumping me, his ability to kill me, and then like Scout d directly behind me his ability to get two shots off before I can even react. Um, what's another thing on Medic? Uh, oh, Sniper. Like, oh, Sniper's aiming at me. What's the likelihood he's actually going to hit his shot? And it's a gamble. What's another one? What's another one? What's nice uh, thing? Justin on my team. We don't have to play against Power this season either, do we? Uh, do we? I don't know. He's on Banny's team. I'm he's sure he'll play a couple though, games. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Um, yeah. What, what's another thing, though? Like, uh, Sniping... Uh, uh, traps like uh, traps, again yeah. the certain demo man you're playing against he likes to play a certain way some demo men love having traps others just like spamming you with uh, damage so uh, basically when you're a medic or when you're basically any other class you can like itemize these things and then basically look at the people that you're playing against and figure out which people you need to be scared of and which really don't even matter um, it's like you know with clockwork YZ50 and who who's another scout would you say was the two the two shotter from behind? Why is he fifty clockwork? Ruin kind of. I think Ruin was pretty scout. devastating on it. Mm -hmm. he, I would have put a in that know. category though. Yeah, he's but not I, really like the aggro scout that's gonna come two shot you though. Yeah. 
But YZ50 Clockwork. If you're playing yeah, against yeah. either YZ50 or Clockwork as medic, and you are standing, and you get hit with 100 damage behind, hit the Uber. Like, it's it's better to pop the Uber early against those teams, and be like, oh, I popped early on a long-range rocket, than it is to get two shot by those guys. Because then they get in a groove, and they start feeling uh, really good. So, I mean, in terms of roamers, Harblue's really good. Um, Davy C was also... Uh, he started getting really good at not making me surf. I guess his team told told him that I would surf, so he just would always delay his rockets. Um, so uh, I don't want him to go into I'm not going to ego boost here, but basically whatever class you play, put the other team's people into like an itemization scheme and figure out who you need to think of when you're playing. So on this map, especially Sean, like we're playing against Vector and we're playing against Zen City. Um, Name the two top people that you would want to f think about. You know, not necessarily focus or ignore, but think about this week. I don't know, that's solid still play. <laughs> no, Mousy is the demo cool, right? for yeah. uh, Zensity. Uh, Relics so the Roamer, Tic Tac is Pocket. I would probably respect Kyle. Um, actually, Tic Tac. I would respect Tic Tac more than Relic. I feel like I could surf Relic, but Tic Tac's got like, those MGE directs, you know? Uh, let's see, who are the scouts? Um... It's Ark, and I, I don't know who the other scout is right now. Cringe, still? Maybe Anything? Cringe? I don't know. Anyone know who the secondary scout for Zensity is right now? If it's Cringe and Ark, great, but I don't think it is. <laughs> RB. Yeah, RB is better. RB, yeah. yeah. It, it better, it better for that team. I don't mean a better player, but yeah. RB is like a, you know, get buffed and stay alive scout, clean things up. But, um... I'd say, yeah, from my you, point of view, that's, Tic Tac. Uh, that is like an IM or inviting or kind of chat. You have to watch out for Tic Tac, because Tic Tac's aim is really, really good. Yeah. So, if you make the game about DM against Tic Tac, he's going to be as good as TLR in terms of aim and connecting shots. But if you make the game, like, in terms of strategy against Tic Tac, he's going to look like, you know, an IM soldier or, like, an open soldier. So, um, yeah, I would, I would focus Tic Tac a little bit and... Relic, I would just make sure Relic doesn't have a field day against us. As long as we shut him down like a couple times and like get in his head that we're like covering him, I think we'll be okay. Uh, zombie buffet's question. You wanna get that one? Zombie face. Okay zombie for pockets buffet. on mid. I'm okay for pockets on mid. Should you try to conserve your rockets and switch between shoddy and RL to do your damage, or should you expend the most good rockets then fake? Take the shoddy out for defense or fishing. I want the answer so I can go eat. Um, zombie Buffet. I would say that the more majority of soldiers on process are always waiting to around 260, 270 health, and then arging in a specific region. So I guess what I would recommend is that you move towards middle and fire two to three rockets at a certain direction. That that would that that's not necessarily shooting at someone. It's just defining or defining the middle, meaning you're shooting soldiers so someone doesn't go somewhere. And then once you shoot those two to three rockets, reload to around like three rockets, and then RJ in, on the direction that your team's gonna go. So, um, I would definitely stay stacked with ammo. You you really wanna have ammo in, in your uh, in your sleeve, because if anything overextends from the other team, you wanna kill it. I, I definitely say, Sean, that the trick to winning mid is to kill the things that overextend really quickly mm -hmm. and then reevaluate middle. Mm -hmm. I think the crates is kind of separated into two sides, so if anything comes on your side, it needs to get mulched, and then you can go aggressive. <coughs> mm, definitely. But this one, if you are a medic and you get trapped behind the enemy team on mid and your team wipes. How do you know when and when not to when to suicide or when and when not to suicide? Uh, is it based on uber percentage, how aggressively or passively their capping affect at all, and what if you were with a real murder scout? That's awfully situational, but I think if it's like if you're stuck behind on middle, something probably went wrong on that mid to begin with, and you probably should have uh, recognized that a little sooner and tried to get out. Um, but let's just say something random happened and you got stuck behind them uh, somehow. If you have like 95% and someone's with you, like just finish, or 80% and someone's with you, try and finish building it. Um, if you're alone, probably just kill yourself so you spawn with the rest of your team. Mm -hmm. uh, some teams will just leave you alive there at the on mids, like on Badlands especially. Sometimes when you go there, cubby, you get stuck on their side. Shit like that'll happen. And if you're alone, you probably should just kill yourself. <laughs> 
Not not in real life. Not in real life. No, I mean, I didn't mean that as like a. Ugh, I'm on the internet. I can tell people to kill themselves. No, I meant like just suicide in game, so you spawn quicker with the rest of your team. It's actually more uh, efficient. Efficient. Yeah. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. People are talking about TLR, but how do you get so good? Um, he played TLR. a lot. TLR. He played a lot, man. He he's one of those guys that got into the game through pubs. And then saw like pro gaming from like uh, he still saw the reptile video. He saw the reptile video and he was like, <laughs> "Dude, that's sick." How many I people did that make it into comp? Jesus, dude, it's the reptile video. Let's see what the reptile video. What's your guess? How many views right now do you think I it's don't at? Know. It's so, a, yes. that's like the OG, like let's play comp TF2 video and there's fucking crits on. It's like 77 with two medics or some shit. 88, I don't even know. TWL 88 is that what it was? I think this is the wrong one. Right? Reptile TF2. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, okay, um, there's e there's two versions on the net. I don't even know who that is. I have a bind for suiciding as medic. But there. anyway. I hit L um, on a suicide. It's at 220,000 views right now. I think that's the highest Pretty solid. for TF2. Let me go to Phantom and see what Phantom's at. I think Phantom's at 90,000. What's cubed at? Phantom is at 140,000. Cube prem. No way, it's, it's, it's probably only like 70,000. Cube prem is at 84,000. This yeah. new, you know. Reptile's been out for fucking years, yeah. That's it's the same format. video. Um, but let me just say a couple things yeah, about yeah. TLR. T T Teller, Teller. Um, Publix saw a frag video, and then he got into MGEs, like playing MGE. He's like, don't think of him as as YZ50, like where YZ50 spent six months playing just MGE, and then was the best scout in TF2. Tyler was just doing lots of MGE. Uh, he loves air shots, so he's really in, he's into like practicing shooting air shots, but he's really smart, so he doesn't always go for them. It's kind of weird. But question about Tyler. Let me scroll back up. As of hunger to improve. How did Tyler get so good to be like that combo that could kill anything? Um, there's a couple pocket soldiers. Because it's a lot about politics in TF2, guys. If it doesn't matter really how good you are, as long as you have people around you that can bring you or like hold you down. So there's a number of pocket soldiers in TF2 that got really good reputations, and then were able to play with uh, good medics. So I think Tyler Tyler played with the fragile, and then Tyler played with. Can you help me out here? Then he played with hard blue. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tyler, TLR, who medic TLR. Oh. It was the Fragile, and then Har Blue, and, check and, six, then, right? and then me, and um, then Har Blue, and then Didn't me. Didn't he pocket yeah. mix-up that one season? Or was that Platt Yeah, 10. Still? That was, was Har Blue. That was... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was Har Blue. So, yep, yep. Um, Flatroom Har Blue. So he's basically had, he's never had a medic that's like held him down at the top of invite. So he's always had like a good consistent medic. Oh, yeah, he also had Mezzer at LAN, and Mezzer's a really good medic. Um, did he have Mezzer? No, I don't think... No, Harblue had Mezzer. No, that's, that's a different team. Mezzer was a different team. Wouldn't him and Clock uh, were like the open pocket, uh, or op open soldier duo at one point? Yeah, they were buddies, and I'm, I, I don't know the What was the, the name of their, uh, was it Stompfest? Is that what they came out of? He, I can't remember. But you're right. He, uh, Clockwork was Roamer, and I think Tyler was Pocket. Um, but point being is Tyler, he's smart, like, Tyler's smart in real life. He wants to get better, and he's really smart about how he plays TF2. Like, he doesn't play TF2 unless it's, like, you know, a, a high level of competition, and it's not going to water down his skill at all. So, he's a smart guy, and he put a lot of time into the game. He does a lot of things that other pocket soldiers do not do, and stuff that's not, like, public knowledge about how to play pocket soldier. So, smart guy. Um, does he still care about getting better? I think I-46 changed a lot of uh, the way people interpret and think about TF2. Last season was kind of an anomaly across the whole board where we got together and then we basically played the season to go to I-46 and make sure, mm -hmm. you know, not to humiliate ourselves. But would you say that he wants to get better now? Probably. I, th I think this is probably... What do you think about this season, Sean? Do you think in terms of quality 
of the people playing? Do you think that it's the best it's been in a few seasons? Yeah, it definitely is. There's not like a... Uh, I think there's like... <sighs> let's do it. Like, Mix seven. Up, I Don't Stand, seven. Don't Trip, Us, uh, Chess Club, AG... Who else is in? How many do you say? I said like... It's like six or seven solid teams that can really compete for land spots. And I don't think there's like a clear favorite. Maybe Mix Up still, probably, actually. But, um... Number two is like heavily contested, uh, and also I think people are going to be mixed up this season. I don't think it's going to be a repeat. You have TLR and demo. Um, it's a uh, it's just like he's got to learn demo. Like he's I, I trust that he's got the DM there, um, but he's got to learn demo, right? Yeah. Well, lot, lots of people think the top three spots are don't trip, don't stand, mix up, and if you're a betting man, it's probably the smartest bet, but. You never know what happens in the season in terms of roster changes and who stops yep. playing, who's who like is not having a good time. So, but the lower teams aren't as far behind as they have been in the past. It's the main point of this season. There's like there's se there's seven teams that are gonna have good competition. Yep. Like when mix up plays number seven, it's not gonna be a fucking roll. Well, at least I hope not. AG is the Cinderella. Nope. I think Zen City and Vector are the Cinderellas. Uh, AG is actually looking pretty solid when we played them. Those are the IM winners, right? Or IM second place? I don't even know. Well, IM Kapow, winners. yeah. Wow, Kapow, yeah. Or Steve C Games, whatever they were called. I don't even know there was this shit down there. Look at this red. Can we hold down here? Oh, I my god, I just don't look at shit. Like, this is a floor. Like, this is all I see is like a floor. So I didn't even realize these were there. You ever do that? I don't look outside at like skyboxes and shit. Yeah, I know what you mean. And then you look at you take your time and look at it like, yeah. wow, this is really well done. Yeah, yeah, oh, look at that. Whoa, look at it. We got more stuff. Oh, I wish this was a back cap route to IT. Oh, look, wonder what's on the tube. Um, I think I'm done talking for now. This is long. We should. I, I need to do it with another person next time. You have to, yeah. Yeah, I talked forever. I think people liked it though. I'm gonna go shower and stuff like that and have a blah blah blah. Oh, th soccer. they're asking a question, dude. How do you got? How do you guys feel about this season? Sean, how do you feel about this season? I feel, I feel great. I, I, it was like a little shaky the first few nights, but like that was the first few nights, right? And like we're also like learning a map kind of as a team, and it's like we also have to learn how we we all play together a little bit, and we've gotten better each night that we played. I think, right? I mean, I, I'd, I'd say we definitely have. Our Ubers are getting better. Um, I think Seagulls getting ready to go ham, you know. Yeah, Seagull's having some really crazy, really crazy games. Just nailing these rollouts, not missing a single one. Like yeah, yeah, only, yeah. I, I, we can only get better. I, I mean, I don't think we're gonna get worse. Seems like we're all getting along pretty well. So. People are counting us out, though. They don't. Uh, they think we're gonna be number. They don't five, know. They six. don't know, Brad. No, I don't know. You we'll think that works in our happens. in our advantage? It works in our I think favor. It does. I think it does. I, they, I, they I always they love it. They don't see it covered. I always love with what the public knows and what they think, and then what's actually going on behind the scenes. I Dude, love that. some of the shit I read in stream chat about like invite drama is unbelievable. Like, do you know like how many different teams I was going to join when I left the Ducks last season or whatever? And like, like fifteen. Like how many different scouts like LG was picking up? It was incredible. And like some of the invite uh, team speculation, like during the off season, some of the rosters people come up with are like. Well, I wish Betty was on so and so's team, but like some people mix just don't up, get along. Like yeah, up. like, well, uh, could you imagine if Betty was on mix up? No, I can't, because like you have to get along with people to play video games with them, right? I thought that, I, I always yeah. think that's kind of funny to think about, but well, it takes you to the next level. You can definitely play with each other on a team, but it's if also you wanna... fun. It's also fun to like, I don't know, guess like who's gonna go where. Oh, definitely. I think I think pretty much everyone knew like what Banny's team was gonna be though. Everyone in Invite knew anyways, but uh, yeah. Well, if you're gonna make a superstar, I think everything team out pretty well. At Invite, wouldn't you do that? Superstar Tag, pug Shrugger, team. Banny, and yeah, uh, I guess that's all the pug stars. Yeah, decimate. Invite season. pug all star team. I, I think we're gonna cut Sizer and get uh, decimate for next season. That's my prediction. Decimate the best. Sizer didn't doesn't do as well in pugs. 
You gotta give respect to those people that are good in pugs, right? Yes, pugs are TF2. Um, okay, I'm gonna shower and keep okay. playing this too Thanks long. Thanks for dropping by and answering questions. Thanks, man. I will score two goals for you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, dudes, I am gonna cut the VOD for like a split second and then I'll come back on. I might do a little bit of surf sin or something. Um, I don't feel like talking a whole lot. I was planning on maybe doing a demo, but maybe I'll, I'll do that maybe sometime uh, tomorrow. I don't know. Um,. I, I'll, I probably will review my match demos pretty heavily uh, this season, just so there's like content, I guess, and uh, shit like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, the other ones won't be as long. Um, I will. I, I don't want to talk for so long. I'll try to keep it at like 15 minutes for each class, so it's like an hour or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I will uh, try and keep these going throughout the season. Uh, next map is Viaduct, but it's not until after holidays, so I got plenty of time to put it together. Um, this is a lot longer than I thought it was, so the VOD is, might not be up tonight, but... Well, it'll be a Twitch VOD instantly, but then I'll try to get them on my YouTube. Uh, I'll try and split them, maybe. Uh, I don't know how much effort that's going to require. Maybe a little more than I want to do. So we shall see. But anyways, thank you for... Uh, hey, are you still there in live? Yeah. Uh, do you want to give away Far Cry 3 right now? Yeah, we got 226 people watching. Uh, let's give away Far Cry 3. And you... How do I do the randomizer thing? The, uh, well, it depends. You can do the randomizer thing, or you can choose it based on who really, really, really wants it. Or you can just like del like announce it now that we're going to do it, and then actually just do it on Monday Random or Tuesday. Random.org. No, LimbFix is helping me out here. Okay. Um, How does this help, so LimbFix? They're gonna like walk me through. They're rigging this. Someone's fucking gonna fucking rig this so they get it. Okay, we're doing a copy of Far Cry 3. Here we go. Trivia? I can do Pictionary. Oh my god, I can do Pictionary. Okay, I'll be right back, but yeah, and let me know. Who, get, I'll be right back. Uh, Far Cry 3. Copy the viewers into random.org? How do I open up the viewer list? Twitch John. Oh, I think it's working. Copy. Uh, random.org. Okay, where do I go? What do I click on in random.org? Help me out. Twitch giveaway extension, Chrome. John, I don't have time for this. Random.org slash lists. This is also really hard. Enter list items. Paste. Oh, this looks handy. Part 2, go. Randomize to the top of the list. Oh, baby, it worked! Cole TF2. Cole TF2. Are you here, Cole? Isn't Cole a streamer? I think Cole's a streamer, right? Wow, Megachu, no hard Fs. Type out yourself. I got it. He's bad. He's God. Cole, do you want a copy of Far Cry 3, or should I give it to someone else? You do. Okay. Um, add me on Steam, Cole. Or add Brad. Brad has the copy. <laughs> I don't have it. So, Okay, so Cole won. Uh, thanks for watching the rest of you that hung around. Um, I'm going to cut the VOD so I can uh, download this and YouTube it later. And then I'll be right back and I'll do maybe some surfing or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'll be here.